Oh no! Who could have guessed the cameras wouldn't work? Certainly not me. Oh, crazy. Oh, oh. Okay, Who's I got him. The round? Well, it wasn't it wasn't like the placement. It was just like it wasn't it wasn't on, you know. Oh. Oh, <laughs> that's a problem. <laughs> okay. And then I need to move you to here. And then I need to move you to here. Oh, wait. Oh, I was going to I'm not normally on the bottom. Uh, well, here we are. Hello, everybody. Welcome to episode 69 of Paperwork Pantheon. Nice. 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 I'm glad nice. we can all be here for this momentous occasion. It's. We were off last week because literally everybody was not here because. Makes uh, it hard to play. Wait, Pat, can I talk about what happened last week? Yeah, oh no, absolutely. It's hilarious and I'm fine. So <laughs> Last it's... week, I was like. <laughs> I was like, oh, wait, Danny's not here because he's away. Brooke's not here because they're away. Amelia's not here because they're away. That leaves just Pat. And I was, like, just writing up a message to go to Pat. Like, hey, like, no one else is here. I'm, we can do, like, a solo session if you want, or we can just take it off. And then as soon as I, I write, I'm, like, about to hit send. Pat goes, I just got acetone in my eye. <laughs> like, pure, pure 100%. 100%. Oh, yeah. Acetone. Did you tweet about that or something? Because I feel like I saw that. I did, and I gave yeah. no context and no follow up to it. <laughs> You're dead. Yeah. That's what you are on I Twitter. Never, You're fucking I dead. I never updated. You fucking uh, died. I'm fine. Yeah. Me when I fucking. What happened? Died. What's the context? Oh. I was I was painting miniatures. Okay, that's what I thought. I was like, what and, else? And he what was like, like I, wow. be using acetone for. Burning off their fingertips or painting miniatures. Mm -hmm. Pat doesn't seem like a gel manicure kind of person. I I would be if I had the money to regularly get a gel manic manicure. Fact, Sorry, some of us expensive. are rich bitches. You can do them at home. But yeah, it was one of the one of these where you like squeeze down the top mm -hmm. of it and. Uh, and you thought it'd be fun to squeeze it into your eye. No, it wasn't working, and I was, like, doing the whole thing, and the moment that I turn back and I go to put it down, I, like, put it down a little bit too hard, and all the pressure that had built up... It splurged! Sucking it into the siphon. It splurged all over you. Eye. Oh, my God. I don't know about everyone else, but whenever Pat say, says it wasn't working, I always imagine him just, like, looking into it to see if it wasn't, why it's not working, and it just going, like... Me oh, when I want to yeah. see if a gun is loaded. <laughs> Me staring down the barrel of a revolver. That's not what happened. <laughs> is this thing on? I can't tell. <laughs> Let's let. Have you tried hitting enter? <laughs> <laughs> but hello everybody, welcome, welcome to the episode sixty nine of Paperwork Pantheon. Nice. When we last left off, the party was in various different states of their lives and doing stuff and things. But I say we go back to a little bit further, a little bit of a retreat of events, back to the nights that the party had their meetup with agreement. Back Everyone, to December. Back to December. Everybody so far. I'm really far has, mad that the episode 69 is when A's and Z's finally gets to see each other again. Oh, uh, if you don't think that I was hoping. If you don't think. <laughs> but. Agreement. You when if you guys meet in the dreaming, Z's looking battered and bruised but alive, and Agreement looking significantly better for wear. Z's looks to you, A's, and goes, "We should probably talk." Yeah. Um, I'm gonna go up to Z's and I'm gonna hold them. They hold you back. They feel limp in your arms. Yeah. But it's this mixture of relief of also just pure exhaustion. But they lead they lead you just like a little bit away. Uh cover of night. Um the the dreaming is tasteful. Um <sighs> And you sit down, and Z's looks up, and with their concentration on the spell Dream, they conjure up a night sky for you both to look at. So how you keeping? Good, actually, all things considered. Good, good. 
You guys caused a bit of a ruckus, I hear. Yeah, just a tad. Something about, um, <laughs> breaking into Al's private library? I mean, allegedly. Mm. <laughs> it's funny. You guys gonna uh, do it again? I can neither confirm nor deny, although, given how it shook out last time, gotta be careful. You just need the right door, man. Who'd you get? Pencil pusher guy? Uh, honestly, didn't seem really seem to know what the, he was doing. Ah, that's him. Pencil pusher guy. Yeah. He's, he's, he, is a pen, he is a pushover. He's one of Al's, I think. Just some warlock he recruited eons ago. Something about greater purpose. Loves his job. Genuinely loves it, which I think is hilarious, but... Yeah, I hope he doesn't get fired then. No. Probably not. Yeah, there's, he's so wrapped in liability, you, you couldn't pet, you couldn't hit him with a donkey tail. But I do know another entrance, one that I think Al isn't aware of. Oh. Well, it's because Beatrice isn't aware of it either. Yeah. So his is a desk, right? Uh -huh. Big wooden thing. Yeah. I don't know why the universe made the two central points in the u of the universe um, office uh, minutia, but uh, she has a cabinet, big ornate thing, made from the same wood or something. Go deep enough, I think it leads to the other. A Narnia situation. A bit of a Narnia situation, yeah. So, but because that's the secret library, and not even Al or Beatrice even goes in there, there's just stuff in there from both sides in the same section, being guarded by both of them. They don't know that that's the same space? I think it's kind of agreed upon that they just, it's not worth caring. How many times have you been there? Once. Got for what? shit kicked out of me, but I, I went there. I was looking for, I was looking for other deals that Al made with mortals similar to mine. You know, that whole protection agreement. I found it, but it was, not very useful. More poetry than actual writing. Mm. After I got out, I got caught. I don't think you can escape there without getting caught. It's part of the deal, almost. It was Beatrice who apprehended me. She didn't know what I had in my hands. She just knew I had something. Something contraband. She told me just to put it back. I handed it to her. I'd already read it, so it's fine, but like... She didn't know. She couldn't even see it. It wasn't even her who picked it up and took it from me. It was one of those constructs. Mm. It's weird. But they're there, probably overlapping each other. Probably just depends on which entrance you use. <laughs> Probably. Yeah. But yeah, you should probably go back there. Just maybe use my entrance next time. So we just simply have to get through Beatrice's cabinet. That I assume is in... Her domain, yeah. Yeah, yeah. 
Yeah. Okay. How are you doing? That's a hard question to answer. Let's stay with the easy ones, like how to sneak into Beatrice's domain unseen. Right. Mm. It's hard. Um, getting badgered daily for questions about you guys, about you. Um, it's hard to lie to a goddess, so I'm not really lying, but I'm trying my best to not be helpful. But I do have an escape plan. And it's currently in effect, and I think it's going to work. How did you find out about the library? Well, there's always a restricted section. It's got to be one. No, I mean, how did you find out that we went to the library? Oh. Uh... Beatrice and Al are having a meeting soon. Something about the stakes of the war increasing. She's going on trial. For what? Unsanctioned escalation of the war. You get two of those in this. She's done it twice. kind of a rule. A weird way to make this more of a sport. Both sides get to escalate the war unsanctioned twice. Both times will incur what have to meet up, and then whatever escalation the other side deems appropriate, they will match it. <sighs> mm. But... Al said he had to postpone because someone was rummaging where they shouldn't, and I made a guesstimation of the only place where someone should be rummaging where they shouldn't be is probably his library, because otherwise he wouldn't need to postpone the entire court date. He could just solve it, right? So it's got to be something to do with you guys, and I'm glad I made the right guess, which means I'm still sharp as ever. Yeah. I'll get out of here soon. And then where are you going to go? Your fish hook's interesting this time of year. I have a friend there. Promise to keep me safe. It's not the, the goddess of the hunt, is it? No. Okay. Someone who's set up shop in your old place. Hmm been gone an awful while. I don't think you're going to recognize your old workshop, but um... I suppose that's fair. I went there once looking for you. Met him instead. He's a tree. He says he has a way to hide me for a bit. Okay. Well, I've made great strides with space. So hopefully that'll be an option for us too. Sorry, I was mighty hungry. I haven't eaten all day. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Hopefully. I missed you. I miss you too. He leans into you. You just feel a lot of weight on your shoulder as he says. Yeah. I think they're just gonna hold him for a while. You stay there for a while. See, he dozes off briefly in the dream, which you shouldn't do. It can get mighty confusing very quick, but you notice something odd about Z's. And about you, frankly. You're an elf. You're in the dreaming, mm -hmm. which means you're asleep, which you don't do. You feel the following benefits for the next 24 hours. Whatever level spells you can cast, 
You may now cast up to ninth. You know how to use the spell Wish once and will not incur its detriments as you are a god. Additionally, an extra secondary dice on all rolls until your next long rest. Nice, okay. Well, I'm not sleeping. <laughs> uh. <laughs> As you feel this surge through you, you look down at Z's. He wakes immediately. That's our cue. Sorry, I couldn't spend more time. I'll get us there. Leans in. Gives you a kiss on the forehead. Let's get back to agreement. Old Codger's yeah. probably chatting up a storm. Uh, well, he kissed me on the forehead, then I'm going to pull him in for like a proper kiss as well. It's been a <laughs> while. Okay, he, he, he falls down. You guys are going to go at it for a bit now. <laughs> <laughs> Great. Uh, 15 to 20 minutes later, however long you feel is necessary. Um, yeah. You come out of the dreaming. And you see agreement. Busy having a nice, le leisurely chat with uh, Feda, Viari, and Gottfried. Agreement looks over. Oh, is that time already? Let's see we're delightful. Ace, I see you. I didn't get to chat with you much. Is there anything at all you'd like to ask me? About being uh, a god about anything. Oh. Um, Amelia doesn't know what has already been asked. I guess Ace doesn't either. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but. Um. Um. I guess. Is this the first time that you've been sent to Beatrice? Yes. First time during a war, that's for sure. Usually I go with Al. Usually it's uh, peace treaty talks. Usually I'm there to cool Al down because he's a little bit um, jumpy. Mm -hmm. A little quick. Trigger happy. Well, he has his directive. My directive is to keep him in check. Mm. Mm. But is there any? Yeah. Hmm? Oh no, you said you can keep talking. It usually works out in the end, though. He's good at listening to me. Maybe because because I'm. You learned, um, you party learned already weeks ago, but this will be the first time you're hearing it. Maybe because I'm already him, but that's fine. All works out at the end. Mm-hmm. Um, what else is different about this time? Hmm. Or should I say anything we don't know that's different about this time? Well, for one, Beatrice is breaking her rules a lot more. She doesn't like to escalate first. Usually she lets Alistair do that. Alistair escalates at the right time with a strategic purpose to ensure victory. He's just calculated like that. Beatrice escalating first is new. I mean, it would seem like she would be the type, but she usually isn't. And she's desperate. Also, there's talks of in-between and <laughs> gods outside the Pantheon and... You lot are talking about Eternagrax, which is makes me concerned, but I'm assuming you're doing the right thing. Mm. Is there anything you want from us? Don't die. Play the system. 
if stick it to the man <laughs> stick it to the man <laughs> if Beatrice has escalated the war first Al gets to dictate the terms of what counts next and I wouldn't suggest this if I didn't think it necessary he's going to do something drastic and considering what I was told by that one, pointing to Viari, he's aware of play against him. He's going to do something big. He's going to do something clever. Whatever it is, I don't know if you'll be able to stop it, but get ready to manipulate it as best you can. Any hindrance can be an asset if manipulated properly. But, then again, I don't know what he's going to do. Maybe he'll give everyone a raise. But I doubt he'll do that. He's a cheapskate. Mm. Yeah. <gasps> Z's looks to uh, agreement and goes, we really got to go. All right, all right. I'll get out of here. It's nice seeing you all. Nice meeting you all. Good luck in the war. What would you say to him to get a race? <laughs> Wouldn't ask for one, that's for sure. <laughs> God damn it. Touche. And then he gets, and so they disappear into the night. You guys leave. You go about to do your separate things that you want, that you've all done separately in different sessions. <laughs> mm-hmm. I will be expediting this process, unfortunately, as we have much to get to today. Several days pass. Several punishments pass, Godfrey, in your chambers. Um, many horrible people come through. Pirates who were perhaps too convinced that there was gold in them, our hills. Um, soldiers who screamed much about democracy and how they were fighting for something greater. Um, so you're literally just listing off the video games you've been playing. This yes. is the secret lore. DFB is canon. I've made it so. <laughs> and now Some, drivers is too. Someone's Anyways, screaming. we're not fascists. We're democracy. Anyways, <laughs> I have media literacy. <laughs> POV, <laughs> average Twitter user. Godfrey, you got a ping. On your phone. Like I have a phone. Sick. A, yeah, you you do in your domain. We've established you have a tablet. Why wouldn't you have a? Oh, phone? I forgot. Yes, I forgot. <laughs> I have a tablet. I think it's a ping on the tablet, though. Ping on the tablet. True, true, true. Just does everything on speakerphone. Mm -hmm. Like it's on a reality TV show. And you get that. And it says, "Mortal gods adhere. Trial of Beatrice forthcoming." You are required as witnesses. Fucking sorry, what? All of you get messages in various ways at the same time. I think time. we're all hanging out on Miami Beach. Mm -hmm. <laughs> You're all in Miami? <laughs> yeah, you it's see on the, the beach, boat remember? the boat shipping and sinking sinking in the background. In the distance you think you see is some sort of skirmish of pirates. Um you get the Yeah, I can set up like a giant beach umbrella and he's forcing Fader to move to stay under the shade constantly. So that they I, don't okay, get that. I like I can give myself fire resistance and I feel like that's <clears throat> Okay, but sunblock. can you give yourself sunburn resistance? I don't think so. SPF now. <sighs> Fine. <laughs> Thank Who's you. getting my back? Listen, we, we all out. Like, like we're mortal gods, but skin cancer is still a thing. Yeah, no. <laughs> For you guys, I mean, I don't have skin. Right, exactly. <laughs> I can get skin if I wanted to. Bone reading cancer a book. is worse. Well, so, the point is I can get skin whenever I need it. <laughs> His bones are already bleached. He's fine. Um, you slow ride. But you get the ping on the iPad, Godfrey. What do you do? I, they're like, well, we guess we got a trial to be at. Apparently we're witnesses. Yup, I'm glad do I wasn't the only one that got that text. I'm pretty damn sure, yeah. 
making us work on our days off. Man, I was we should form a union. I don't know how well I'm going to be doing here. I agree. I, I think union busing is technically a part of the divine contract, so. <laughs> we should renegotiate. That's crazy, <laughs> dude. <laughs> Just be like, we weren't, we're going to general strike. We won't work until we get a union and our demands are met. Me when I go on a general strike and then God strikes me down. Well, that's why they call it a general strike, because any of the gods can strike you down. It doesn't have to be one in particular. Mm. General striking down. <laughs> Does, do you guys banter until the trial time, or are you guys going to both? <laughs> We're yeah, walking I mean, and talking. We're walking and talking. Walking and talking. I will okay. reluctantly get up in my giant-ass sun hat, where I was comfortably reading a book on the sand. Theta is actively Is it fair to say that Aes is the type to like wear like those like see-through sort of like like, like absolutely fair yeah the little I see I imagine Aes in like um billionaire like billionaire mom you know yeah you know what I'm talking about like loungewear yeah, yeah. They got, like oh. they got like the little like 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 the like it's not a shawl I don't know it's not even a coat I don't know what to call it because it's basically a like, I don't know it's like a piece of cloth that's okay. not even a piece of cloth you wear like a coat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like yes. a shawl? Like there a pashmina. Like a shawl, like a shawl that's made of like lace. Yeah. yeah. It's yeah, and yeah, it's yeah, just yeah. over and I'm just wearing yes, a bikini exactly. and I have a little cover thing on. Exactly. Godfrey's I'm wearing, wearing wedges. Godfrey's wearing uh swim trunks, um over um like a like a really old timey bathing suit and an inflatable <laughs> around. <clears throat> you. I assume you also have arm floaties. What? You're wearing a thong? Is that what you mean? No, I'm talking about a singlet, bro. What are you? What the yeah. fuck? <laughs> That's old timey. Yeah. What kind of old timey yeah, shit no, are you No, no, no. The singlet where it's like the whole, the whole okay, suit. Okay, you mean like, like shorts? Yes. Like 1920s old timey? I thought you meant oh, yeah. 70s yeah. old timey. Nope. Oh. <laughs> nope. Does Godfrey have Godfrey... arm floaties? Oh, absolutely. And a snorkel. Amazing. <laughs> a snorkel is shoved into an eye socket. <laughs> The, like peach glow is coming out of the top of the snorkel. Yes. Mm. You got Feta in board shorts and like uh like an open linen shirt. <laughs> Everyone looks so good. Especially me <laughs> guys. Are you sure you don't want the parasol, bud? It fits your outfit more. Parasol, parasol these nuts in your mouth. I'm great. That made very oh that was so close. It was so close to actually making sense. These nuts make sets in your mouth. <laughs> as you guys walk and talk, you arrive at the trial room. Waiting for you there is Charlie. Oh my god, what are we wearing? Okay, kids, kids, I'm sorry. We cannot be showing up to trial as primary witnesses like this. <laughs> I snap my fingers and I've I've already shape changed and just like changed my appearance to There you go. I, it's that easy everybody. I like to think tie. that because we're in uh the Pantheon and it's not like mechanically doing anything, I can just in an instant like bend time and just change and reappear in the exact same moment I left. If that's cool. Yeah, yeah. So I'm oh, wearing yeah. like just a nice lie I'm about what I'm wearing. Huh? Brooke, I was, I, hoping, about I was what so I'm hoping wearing? that's what you were going to say. what is Viari wearing? Did you what say? Viari, no, what is Viari wearing? I think Viari has, we call them bathers, like your swimsuit. I think Viari's just got like a t-shirt and shorts on over their swimsuit and just like sandals or whatever, but very like, not appropriate for court. Keeping it casual, but definitely think, not court wear. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Um, I think... Though, I, I should just be able to be like, no, no, I'm in a suit. It's one of those, like, the shirt changes to be one of those, like, screen-printed tuxedo t-shirts. <laughs> Charlie, Charlie looks at you and goes, Biari, you know you're going to have to do this with every individual member of the court, right? Or, like, screen this out. It works on I'm me. Biari opens the door and goes, I'm wearing, I'm wearing a suit. suit. <laughs> 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 or I could just be like, this is court appropriate attire. What are you wearing? Okay. We'll see how this goes. 
Godfrey, I'll please. Okay. Uh, Godfrey I think pull Godfrey out, deserves um, a top a hat. That Adamus wore, wore, brought for him. It's a tuxedo, mm -hmm. um, like a concert tux. You know, <laughs> you know exactly what I'm talking about. It's got a top hat Can and a monocle. Yep. You have a conductor baton. <laughs> um, I, I hide that because that's not quarter appropriate. I'm like, ooh. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. Feta straight up looks like he walked out of like one of the Kingsman films. Drip. Godfried also, God, like, but it's a musical. <laughs> right, yes, correct. And he's the conductor. <laughs> he's not in the musical. It was like the the origin movie that they did. Where it was like, <laughs> yeah, oh, what a banger, it bro. It started. <laughs> okay. So you're all in court appropriate tire to varying degrees. Can we just keep describing outfits the whole episode? We could. <laughs> That's oh, no, no, when we get to Bloodborne World, Godfrey has an outfit change, you fuckers. We're never getting there. You get to court. <laughs> and as you guys walk in, you guys find yourself immediately in, like, the podium section. Alistair looks to you. All right. As head prosecution, I call forth my first four and only four witnesses. The mortal gods, as witness to Beatrice's crimes. What you see there is a lawyer representing Beatrice. You see that they are almost stereotypically evil. Like, their hair is, like, slicked back entirely. Actual devil horns curl up. They've got like the like the pointy the pointy tail and everything. And like one of those little like black, like yeah. little beards that comes to a point and exactly. they're like red. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Guys, the god of lawyers, hide. <laughs> he looks at all of you and goes, "Oh, you've brought these biased sources. I call object. Shut up! Shut up!" Okay. Anyway, uh, next we have the four witnesses. <clears throat> Yes, uh, question from the witness. This is unorthodox. The only bias I have is that guy needs a better f fucking, I don't know, social media or a presidential analyst because what is this? Alistair what, leans what in this? and, and, just in and gives you thing. a high five. What is this? <laughs> <laughs> nice. <laughs> uh, like, like, I'm actually kind of being serious, but I. Yeah, yeah. How does it facial and make him look old and younger at the same time? It's so. It's a mess. It's because it's unprofessional. Anyway, my four witnesses. Today, what we're learning about is the crimes of the goddess Beatrice. So, I'm just going to be asking you simple questions, mostly yes or no things. I just need you to confirm information. Does that sound fair and easy? Hmm? Yes. Yes. All right. In the first plane that you went to, did you or did you not fight pain? A god. We did. Allegedly, yeah. yes. <laughs> Alistair looks to Godfrey and just like, what do you, what do you? I don't trust lawyers or cops. I will confirm those allegations. We did. No! <laughs> Wait, when Godfrey I says, I don't trust lawyers or cops, Ace just does like a little side fist bump. <laughs> like, no, I, like, I get you. Uh, don't, don't get me wrong. Um, Alistair goes, okay. 13, 12. And did you, and this was a full god, correct? At least according to your surmisations. Yes. At, at least a full yes. manifestation of its aspect, right. mm -hmm. yeah. I would like to present this information to the courts as evidence that Beatrice, unsanctioned in the first skirmish of the Pantheonic War, brought full gods into the fray. And everyone kind of murmurs like a murmur among the court. Alistair, who is also the judge, goes, Order! Okay. Please continue. You're questioning. <clears throat> Thank you. Next, in the second He's skirmish. To himself. Yes, he is. <laughs> in the next skirmish of the Pantheonic War, you fought two gods who were properly named Ignition and Combustion, correct? Yes. Yes. Additionally, you fought them to a standstill and thusly legally acquired their domains, correct? Uh, hostile takeover, yeah. Yes. Correct. Nice. And, it, and these gods were not parading as themselves, though. Not full display of their allyship to the Chaos side. No. What was the identity 
that they were performing as. Um, Alistair, I believe. Correct. I would like to present this as an additional case to his evidence. They were, as of, of Beatrice, escalating the war on a case of identity theft. Everyone goes, <gasps> gasp. It's like... That's not, not identity theft. That, not identity. I love how it's like these are the most evil people in the world. They've like, done that's murder. The thing that gets the They've biggest reaction done from everybody. Hostile <laughs> government takeovers and fraud. <laughs> Additionally, once again, these gods were also full gods. Correct. 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 And you would recognize this because they not only had warlocks who could conjure them, but also because, well, their domains were up for grabs upon being killed, were they not? That they were. Correct. They also announced themselves as such. <gasps> the lawyer goes, objection hearsay, and then Alistair goes, we literally have the tape! Play it! We heard them <laughs> say it. <laughs> and then the court plays from the scrying or the the adjudicator that was following Viari for most of the for most of the mission. <laughs> over the corner of her shoulder, we see them go. We see them go, We're gods! We can crush you! And everyone's like, oh to <laughs> some effect, yeah. I I could like I could I have them. That sounds weird. I, we can go <laughs> grab them right now. Yeah. <laughs> Also, they have his. He has his one. They're Moloch. He's a dog now. Ash, bro. If you want proof that they were there, open up Godfrey's chest cavity and uh, figure they, out what the become, fuck happened to him. They become branches of uh, branches of the Pettit's domain. Um, as general manager of Target But Blue, um, they are now uh, they, <laughs> they are now my elite employees. The and lawyer goes. Watches. The lawyer like. I would like to inquire for a brief recess to speak with the employees of Target But Blue. Yeah. Maybe you could get a better stylist while you're at it. Godfrey knows a few. Uh, <laughs> the court is adjourned. I'm not letting this Allison go. Allison goes, you may go and inquire about the Target But Blue. Just looking at the guy. Ow. Like, mm -hmm. eyes follow. <laughs> Ow. Yes? Would it be illegal... Uh, that Beatrice has the one mortal god that she had employed, captured, imprisoned, and is being tortured. Captured under false pretenses as well. Uh, she's allowed to do whatever she wants with the mortal gods and sign up with her, especially mortals. What if they didn't sign up? That's with messed money? up. Well, it's mortals are free to choose the gods that they wish, and what befalls them as a result of betraying them is. It's not really a crime. But he was a god when that happened, right? I feel like that falls under like the stipulations of like you know like con like co like contractual employment, you know. Yeah, this shit wouldn't happen if we had unions. It's too bad. It's legally not allowed. Is it's look? I agree. It's morally reprehensible, but there's nothing we can get them on. However, we can get them on identity theft and escalating the war twice with two uses of uh, immortal gods. Bringing Eleanor into this well, would probably not be a good idea as far as legality is concerned, correct? Bit of a side Attaining, thing. yeah. Is Beatrice here? No, she just has the representative. Gotcha. At least currently. What? What, could it be used against her in that she has the resources to use mortal gods but is refusing to? That's what makes it a crime, yes. Right. So, uh, could you force her to deploy her mortal god back into the field? I think I can get something better. Just you wait. I got a plan. Just you wait. Just you wait. Um, after a brief moment... Godfried, your target but blue employees, aka the former gods of combustion and ignition, are brought out. They're wearing um, their work attire. <laughs> Can we please get something more court appropriate? I, I grab the blazers from a shelf. 
that we sell at. We sell these at Target for blue, fifty percent off if you buy now. <laughs> Teddy, your camera's not working, by the way. Oh, oh I thought it was just my internet. Me when I. Me when I'm freeze framed in a, a slightly like, depressed downward angle. Very serious, yeah. <laughs> uh oh. Don't do that. <laughs> Godfrey's handing over the blazers, and it's just the it, like it's just the blazers. They're still wearing whatever they were wearing. Fiari, Fiari, you're up. Just tell them that what they're wearing is court appropriate. Oh right, yeah. No, no, no. no. What you're wearing is court appropriate. Uh, deception Any check. Back. Danny back. <laughs> Deception check, please. Uh, Danny back. I'm getting him, I'm getting him. Gee, Danny, why are you hiding like Danny from me? Um, <laughs> hold on, I just gotta, I'm trying to get the dust roll up, but it may crash my camera, which is very annoying. Um, it's very annoying. Uh, 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 where is this on my orange section of my things? Eight dice, I think. That sounds about right. Um, it's absurdly high anyway, one, so two, like. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Forty. You hear them go, oh! And they look proud in their Target but blue sweaters as they cast off their blazers, and their lawyer goes, don't listen to her! What is wrong with you? <laughs> Put on your blazers! That's the goddamn god of lies! <laughs> Are you stupid? What? Are you dumb? Did you forget everything I just told you to do? Are you crashing? Crash? 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 Shut up! I don't want to listen to you, four. God! They are walking advertisements. Shut up, gay boy. Go to <laughs> he walks. He walks. So, I don't think you know what's called appropriate. You should probably change. I'm not. He pulls out earplugs and puts them back in. <laughs> uh. He looks, I am now presenting my witnesses to the court. He brings them forward. So! And at this I point, do have a question, actually, about yes. them real quick. Just about them. Are they gods still, or are they former gods? Have I just kind of co-opted them into, like, my uh, my company, basically? So or are they, the, like... The or sanctions I, like, that were feel? imposed upon them when you could capture them. When you took away their godly powers, they are still the gods of those domains... Um, but they may they may reclaim them if they are able to, if if you if if they ask for like they may reclaim them if they prove to be good at their work earning their job but they have to first earn a billion dollars working minimum wage that was what you told me to do ah uh, yeah mm -hmm. um, and when they do that then they can get their domains back but until then they can't yeah. um, this is also Florida minimum wage just FYI mm, nice it's like seven dollars an hour oh the federal nice. American federal minimum wage, seven dollars an hour, everybody. Um, so they get the they they go forward, and the lawyer goes up to them, goes, "I would like to not question my witnesses." Um, at any point in time, by the way, you four may just scream objection. You have three objections between the lot of you. Why we only have three? But like, what if I just no, shout? No, just no, I no. What if I just want? Can we each have our, have our own objections, please? What if I what if I just shout it just because it's funny? Okay, you each have your own singular objection then, okay? Thank God. Your own singular- Thank you, you may use it when you hear something that doesn't sound correct, or something that is blatantly false, or something that sounds not relevant. Okay? I know where this is coming from, you asshole. <laughs> yeah. I love it, but I know where this is coming noticed, from. noticed, this isn't a real court of law. This is Phoenix Wright court of law. Evidence comes in wildly when it's necessary. There's no yeah, I, no even discovery. though I've never played Ace Attorney, I managed to piece that one together, believe yeah. it or not. I, I have no idea what, what the fuck that shit is. It's a silly mm -hmm. court game that does not follow any real law system. It's just like, and any real law system, it's like, oh, I, I've got evidence. I need to present it to uh um, If it was almost Christmas, then that means it wasn't Christmas or it, something like yeah, that. Oh, oh I, me I meant because Bro, that's crazy how that works. Sats, you're giving us law problems. <laughs> <laughs> no, this this was guaranteed no matter what. I'm not giving you guys else okay. law problems. I wouldn't wish that d death upon anybody. Anyway. Hey, we've been getting them right. <laughs> you guys have been. You guys have been. I'll give you that. Uh, as you as you guys come, uh, go up, the lawyer goes, So, former gods of ignition and former gods of combustion, I would like to ask you a few questions if that's okay. And they go, Correct. Okay. When you were deployed 
in the in the plane. Is it true that you were pictured in the visage of an old skeleton god? Yes. And is it true that this old skeleton god may have perhaps used a name that is similar to Alistair? Objection, leading the witness. <laughs> They're my own witnesses. I'm allowed to treat them as hostile. You literally met them. You literally met them. You literally met them, Fader. You can point out that they literally introduced themselves as Alistair to you. They... Objection. They literally introduced themselves as Alistair to me. Mm. <clears throat> well, I guess I we did do that. You lie. I'm going to add another billion dollars on your sentence. Okay. Let's, add, let's keep going then. So, you did introduce yourself as Alistair. Was this done verbally or in writing? Verbally. So, it's hearsay. We have a bunch Objection. of- Objection! I'd like to bring in the book of lies. <laughs> <laughs> the <letter goes>. No! <laughs> we cannot! That is inadmissible! That is inadmissible! Because we don't have our own and this is unfair! We need to find them tried for what they did! Is it the book of lies? Just, completely unbiased? It it's a book! All the lies! Yeah! I this was submitted prior to- This was submitted prior to the hearing. If you didn't look at it, that's your fault. <laughs> the judge goes, I'll allow it. Please bring forward the book of lies. Evidence, I'm sure. Alistair looks it over. The story checks out. It does see? Does, I do see an asterisk here, though, flagged for ambiguity. Could you get more specific in your introductions to that you made to Fada? Well, it should have fly when it was told to Fada, right? True. If you just flip to that date. Oh uh, yeah. The lawyer says, I'm not saying that they were hiding their identity. However, I'm suggesting here, perhaps, that since Feta never saw it in writing, and since Feta only heard this vocally, and let's be honest, Alistair is anything but gene is generic as a lot of most things are in this pantheon, how do we know that they were par parading around as the same Alistair? Uh, this is an objection. It's more of a question. What? You're not understand right well, now. I know, but like, it's not a question for you, fuckface. It's a question for my elite employees, all right? You don't get to ask questions yet. I don't get to ask questions. I'm not a lawyer. So this is me just asking as a friend, okay? Uh, friend slash mod. <laughs> sure. Friend slash mod here. <laughs> mod, can we get a pull of chat? <laughs> So fucking go. dumb, dude. <laughs> <laughs> I just have a question for like, for like them. Can I like ask them like just a question? They look over to you. What? Um. So, uh, just like real quick, like clarifying, just like for my sake and all. Um. You guys did create contracts with like the administrations and such under the guise of Alistair, right? The contracts need to be down in writing and such. They look to the lawyer, and the lawyer says. Shut up. <laughs> if you plead the fifth, I swear to God, I'm going to take your, you like, you femur. Don't, you don't need to tell him anything. I'm going to take your femur out through your foot. You don't need to tell him anything. <laughs> the two gods go... Don't! And then they say, we may have some documents. Oh. That's awesome, guys. Thank you. You guys get $1,000. You see the Let it be known to the court that that is unrelated. Unrelated $1,000 gift and bonus for the holiday season. You see the lawyer just, like, leans back in his chair. See these documents then? Alistair goes, I would love to see these documents. <clears throat> and so Alistair snaps his fingers and they manifest in front of them. So, what do the documents say? 
Yeah, just two. And what follows? Cut of contracts and teleportation and bureaucracy. Oh! All right. That's one charge settled. Next. I would like to uh, question the witness now. Lawyer goes, but I have... No, you are done. You were trying to uh, make a sham of this clear kangaroo court, and I'll have none of it. <laughs> <laughs> Alistair comes down. This very clear and very obvious kangaroo court. <laughs> Do not get it twisted. <laughs> Do not get it twisted. <laughs> this I'm is making a sham of my sham. Since I've been gone, what's happened? <laughs> a lot. A lot has been happening. Al sidles up towards them and goes, So, you were gods, and you're not now. You were gods, though, before, correct? Perhaps. Perhaps. That doesn't sound like a yes or a no. And remember, I've got this little book here that says, um, you know, Book of Lies, penned by my child. <laughs> they go, Okay. <laughs> sound good when you say it like that. I'm running the court. I can say what I want. <laughs> and they go, <laughs> yes, it was. We were gods. Oh. And who told you to do this? Was it Beatrice? Yeah. What were the terms of your contract with Beatrice? We would go and fight in the Pantheonic War on her side as full gods. That's all I have. No further questions. Also, Godfrey, why don't you be a doll and give them an extra $10,000 bonus? It is Christmas somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> Make it Australian dollars. Oh, that's Monopoly money. That's too cruel. <laughs> and with that, lawyer... Please tell Queen B to meet me in the office chambers, and we will discuss. Beyonce? Not Beyonce, Beatrice. Um, Very sorry for the confusion. I got so excited. <laughs> Objection. <laughs> I, I just like, had Beyonce oh, as a oh, witch. <laughs> Wait, we got Beyonce on the cut. What do you mean <laughs> this ain't Texas? Even Beyonce oh, has jury Can we TV? watch okay, this? Guys. There ain't no hold her. <laughs> Al, can we see this, please? Sorry, no, you cannot see this. Mm -hmm. They go. He goes into his office, and you all are sent up to the rest of the stands with everybody else. You see the familiar main gar gods. First guest on PP game, Beyonce. That would be so silly. <laughs> that would be incredible, uh, honestly. If I was just casual friends with Beyonce, do you? Th that would be. I. I would probably just be hanging out with Beyonce for a lot of my time. That would be hilarious. What a silly thing to be. I don't know that I could blame you. Mm. Well, I feel like we'd all be casual friends with Beyonce by proxy. I would teach Beyonce Magic the Gathering. Oh, for sure. I think yeah. that Beyonce has better things to do. Than Magic the Gathering? How dare you? Than hang out with their clear best I friend. I'm saying this as someone who plays with both of you. I think Beyonce has better things to do. Oh, I'm sorry. Are you friends with Beyonce? And have you been teaching her to play <laughs> Magic the Gathering? No, I, I don't think, think so. so. <laughs> Either, <laughs> way. Either way, you guys are brought up to the stands. And you look out to all of the gods. You see, strategy and bloodshed are very excited. Cruelty looks very pensive. Death looks almost puzzled. Luck looks excited. Very different reactions from the head gods of the Pantheon. Can I walk over to Luck? Mm-hmm. Hey, what's... You seem... grinny today. Oh, we're gonna get a new... Something new's happening today. Something uncalculated. Something new in a bad way or exciting. You've calculated. Uncalculated. A new variable. I don't know how, but a new variable's arriving. I just, I saw it. Mega Theta. I'll be taking notes. Anyone else want to go talk to anybody else? Uh, I'll go talk to my parents if I give them a I'll chance. I'll go hang out with Fate. 
Fate is once again absent, but there's a card there if you want to pick it up and read it. I do want to pick it up and read it. Okay, we'll get to you after uh, Danny gets to speak to his parents. Sure. Mm -hmm. Oh, God, Freight! There you are, my... I'm, I'm just saying, I could be a lawyer, guys. You could be anything you want to be. Yeah, I fucking can. Mm -hmm. Anyways, how you feeling? You, some of you look happy, some of you don't. What's up? Well, we have a good feeling that this verdict will advance the war in an favorable sense. Cruelty go, lo looks over and says, Or we just set Al up the perfect one-two punch for a power grab. Explain. I'd love to know what you're talking about. Well, you all have been pretty insubordinate as of late, breaking rules. Many gods have been openly vying to take things over once this rumored reset happens. Al's obviously not going to let that happen easily. He now has a reason to escalate the war with agreed upon terms of his choice. Al is anything but a fool. He's going to do something big. Something concerning today. And we let it happen. Like what? It'll be something that ensures his goals, and as long as our goals are aligned with orders, it's fine. But it's obvious that not everyone's goals are aligned with orders nowadays. What are you worried about? What do you think is going to happen? What's Al is already in power. Al is in power, but he's very unable to act. The more he is able to escalate, the more he's able to act of his own volition. There's not like a committee? It's like executive order shenanigans? Executive order shenanigans. The committee is, frankly, if it's... Well, it was us. And we let it happen. We could have sanctioned you all weeks ago. When that break-in happened. Or when talks of Eternagrax happened. Or when you guys first found out about the resets. Many times, but we, we were urged not to. Or not even urged, we just didn't. And here we are. He is perfectly set up with ample evidence that people are not aligned with the goals of order. At the end of the day, he must be. And we let this happen. Uh, so what do you propose we do then? At this point, there's nothing. It sounds like you. At this there's nothing to do. At this point, we just have to see what he's doing, and play around it. It's not going to go away. You're just going to have to think smart, my boy. Figure out how to use whatever it is. Thinking's one of my strong suits, so. Let's not pretend luck isn't a part of all of this. With our initial grab at making her own contract. We should have punished her then. But we relented. <sighs> oh well. We just have to wait and see. You go over to fate. And the card that sits there. Scrawled writing on it. You see on the back it says look out for this and it's a pen I take I hold the pen in my hand looks very similar to Alistair's pen not his pen similar hmm. um if i just kind of scribble a little bit on this note does writing it feel like anything or is it just a pen it's just a pen but of an exact is it like replica a good make. pen it's a good pen it's a damn good pen it's a fountain pen it's a clearly official hmm. stuff hmm. Um, viari you want to go up to any of the gods and talk to them are you just happy from your perspective none of them are my god 
True. Your, yours is currently busy. They don't like me. <laughs> 30 minutes later, on the dime, Alistair emerges. <clears throat> Beatrice is being charged with the following. Escalating the war on two counts. Impersonating a god on one. You may now watch the discussion that was had. And playing for all of you in perfect view view. The following conversation plays out. Well, 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 Beatrice. I'm looking for lies the whole time. Seems like you escalated the war. For first, for once, I must congratulate you. Usually I'm on trial for this. Naturally, Alistair, things must change. New variables must come into play if we want things to be different. No, no, no. No, no shade, as Viari would put it. Just noticing. Why? Hmm. I'm running out of options, Al. My mortal gods are inept, or well, they were, and incapable. I needed to make a choice, and it's still not enough. Despite me having the best chance in centuries, I'm on the back foot once again. I will... I say we make this last section the best one yet. Oh, please, if it's collusion you're looking for, you're speaking to the wrong man. I'm here to press charges. No, no, not collusion. I'm out of mortal gods. Z's is not capable to fight. I need to escalate once more. But this time, agreed upon. Section 103 of the Declaration of War. Agreed upon escalation. As long as we both agree to it, we are allowed to escalate the war as we see fit. Here's my proposal. I split myself into four aspects. Give them omniscience, but not omnipotence. They will know as much as I know, but be unable to act on them. They must act as mortal gods. And in turn, what do you suppose I do? Twiddle my fingers? No, no, no. You send an aspect too. Give it omnipotence, but not omniscience. It must discover things as it goes. Don't think I haven't noticed the insubordination on your side of the war. Been taking advantage, advantage of it as much as I can. Letting my daughter sow seeds throughout. <laughs> I am aware. At the end of the day, is everyone there looking out for order? Or have you managed to get a collection of people who look out for themselves? Can't say that they are all looking out for order. I can only hope they look out for me. Charge me. Say I can no longer use mortal gods. Ban me from them. Ban me from followers. I don't need them anymore. I will be the solitary god standing between you and the end of this war. So you want your punish you want you're dictating your punishments to me now. Is that how this relationship works, Beatrice? Crazy. How about this instead? I'll agree to your escalation. You get your four aspects, I get my one. Your punishment for your crimes is they are not allowed to return to the Pantheon. And, when the war is said and done, you must return agreement to me, unharmed. I think that's fair. 
After all, he always did look out for order. And these punishments are to ensure it, therefore, these punishments guarantee it. Beatrice thinks not going back to the Pantheon means they have finite resources too. Don't think I didn't see that, you cheat. Oh, no, no, I'm just not making sure that you don't get too much of a plus side to this little thing. After all, you're asking me. You're out of options, Beatrice. Agree to my terms or die right now. Agreed. And they shake hands. Alistair stops the trade. And so, with that, I would like to introduce to you all a new and very special member of our pantheon. The snap of his fingers. His pen from his pocket. The nib descends out of it. And elongates. The two fountain tip points becoming legs. Stretching out from the arm, a metallic arm with a metallic cane. And a face appearing on it. Hello! Here. You may call me all Little Al. I cannot wait to make your acquaintance. <laughs> if we are all Would allies to order, you will find him the most capable ally. He has not been granted omniscience, but the basic intelligence of a mortal god. I've averaged your stats. He knows nothing of our war effort, and I encourage you not to tell him anything, unless, of course, it is important to the reclamation of order and this war. Yes! I agree, Al. Let me meet my compatriots! We shall meet in the I'm just going to lean over to A's real quick and be like, do you still have that tiny Alistair's little Z? first OC. What? Oh God, do you sorry. still have that tiny little Z? Z? Yeah, I'm just taking a nap. Play dates. Maybe, tiny maybe we can give them dates. a buddy. Get them out of our way. <laughs> <laughs> By them out of our way, I mean the little Al. <laughs> yeah, I don't think I, I don't know if I want to do that to little Z's. I like them. <laughs> As you guys are talking amongst <sighs> yourself, the little owl with great pace speed walks up to you. It's like watching someone walk in fast motion. The sound of clink 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 as his hard pe feet pierce the ground with every step. He does not take the stairway. He walks straight up the side and up to you. Hello. Dad. Yes. Did you really just give me a babysitter? No, I gave you a capable ally. Question. Mm -hmm. Um, is he required to have, like hang out with us, or like can no, we like? No, 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 no. You can ignore him entirely. He's going to be doing his job in reclaiming order. If that so happens to align with you, I encourage you to do to use him. Think of him as a second force on the front line, a special operative doing his own thing to get order. How gracious of you to give us a helping hand. At this point, you. I slide the book of lies back and make sure that it's not on ace. Aces. That's not a that's not a truth or a lie. <laughs> it's no, but it's like it could have a little ambiguous tag next to it. You know? It's got it's got an asterisk, yeah. highly suspect. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I think yeah. Alistair picked up on like, that. I don't think Alistair book. needs the book. Yeah, Alistair looks. I'm over. just doing it for posterity. Mm -hmm. Alistair looks and goes, "Yes, how very gracious." With that, this trial is finished. The terms are agreed, and the war will resume. And lawyer, I suggest you brush up on your capabilities. He snaps the lawyer away. Back to the hairstylist. Oh wait, are there three Beatrices now? There's four. There's four, right? There's four. Mm -hmm. Who's the fourth one? I'm confused. 
She said she was sending four aspects. Oh, it glitched at that. Okay. Yeah, four aspects. Okay. Yes. Got it. <gasps> And Did she just manage to negotiate her way into chaos getting multiple aspects? No, she negotiated her way into getting four aspects for herself. And that's it. How many do you have? As much as I need. Terrifying. But this is little Al. Mm -hmm. I encourage you to be nice with him. I'm sure that because all of our goals are aligned, that we will have no friction. As you look around the room, Cruelty's head is in her hands. Strategy is biting his thumb. Bloodshed. Has he become strategy now? He. Oh, no, no. He's sorry. Warfare. My apologies. Oh, Warfare, okay. warfare is biting his thumb. Bloodshed is like pacing back and forth. Death. Lean is leaning back, not trying their best at a poker face. Luck is gripping her, her ra this, the railing in front of her, like digging her nails in, wood splintering, unsure what emotion is running through her right now. I glance over at her. I she just lock eyes for a brief moment. It's almost like just this. Holding up my notebook. Uh, what's your what's your insight? Passive. <laughs> Passive is. Why am I not on the sheet? I'm just looking at Al and smiling so politely. <laughs> he smiles back. <laughs> mm -hmm. Very polite. Uh, twenty. Jesus. Twenty. Um, you look at Luck and this mix of, this mix of like manic happiness mixed with pure anger, is coursing through her. And as little Al pinpoint turns, almost pirouettes at each of you, just such jerky motions. That's where we're going to go to break. Thank you all so much for watching the first half of Paperwork Pantheon, episode 69. We will be back in 15 minutes, so go get some food, go get some water, go get something to drink, like some tea, and we will be right back.
Hello, everybody. We are back. Uh, when we last left off, the party had just met with somebody named Little Al, an aspect of Alistair, who he is. Who's a bitch? The bit. The the, the the party's already named him the bitch. Uh, but he's been granted yeah, omnipotence, but not omniscience, which is all the power, none of the wisdom to know what to do with it. Excellent. Mm. Mm -hmm. I just like the idea that nip because I've 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 heard of omnipotence, but I like the idea that nipotence is just the ability to be aware of every nipple in the world <laughs> at That's any horrible. given time. That's horrible. That's a curse. I hate that. Uh, <laughs> that is a curse. <laughs> You're the one who said nipotence. Omnipotence. He said is omnipotence. omnipotence. That was just a pause. <laughs> Okay, if you didn't hear the um, that's because you want nipotence, okay? You're the one looking out here for nipples. Look, hey, man. Uh, either way, either way. They just met little Al, who looks like a pen nib. Uh, a nipotence. <laughs> um. And the Nemini song is still uh, playing in my head. Alistair looks to all of you and goes, well, if it's up to you. It's all well the same with you. Tomorrow will be the first day. We'll be working with little Al, and we'll start with the war room. You're going to be, you're being deployed tomorrow. I suggest you get your affairs in order. Fishhook begins. And Beatrice still isn't aware. Though I'm sure she's going to be in the middle of her preparations when we arrive. Any questions about your new friend, or...? Yeah, um... I... Why? Are there why, why, why this? Well, let's be honest here for a moment with ourselves. Not everybody is dedicated to the mission of order. Some of you are maybe not as keen on it as others, and your gods are certainly vo voicing their opinions. Luck is as much as made a direct attempt against me by creating her own book. It is at this point in time where I have to start thinking about what I've been told and what I've been told is happening, and everybody seems to be suggesting that I'm losing power because I'm not seizing it, and that order will fail unless I do something. So, I did something. This will ensure that order will achieve its mission, no matter what. Even should you all fail, order will, will succeed. But that is why it's become, frankly, a little bit obvious. Death has quite loudly proclaimed it in the break room. A little hurtful. I will not let people vying for power ruin order. Order has stood this long in spite of that. So that is why Godfrey. And if you want more information, feel free to go and ask uh, Warfare and Bloodshed why they were so keen on not punishing anybody for insubordination during this entire time. Any further questions? Does it come with personality settings? Beyond just loud and... It has been given something of my personality, but not one you'll be familiar with. An older one. Perhaps a younger one. Very ambitious. Dead set on its goals. Hmm. Feta just kind of looks up to Viari and holds up a three. Referencing Alice Server version three, which is the one that left all of the tablets. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, cool. Well, if that is all, any further questions, or should I let you get on with your days? Might as well. I got nothing. All right. You're all dismissed, if you wish. I'll be in my office if you have any other questions. 
Come on, little Al, let's get you onboarded. Will do, sir. I look forward to working with all of you. Oh, my good man. friends. Oh, I'm not related to that one. No, but. you are. Mm -hmm. No, I reject them. That's a clone of your dad. If VR Out of him, nope. Then you're related, Gottfried. I'm not related. Yeah, I'm ashamed of my grandson. <laughs> <laughs> I, was say, I was trying to use that as like what a fucking a narc, bro. thing and like let you drop it, but if you're coming <laughs> down, then I have no opposition. <laughs> I should get to bed. It's like 3 p.m. Are you sure? <laughs> I should get to bed. <laughs> Viari scuttles. Viari to the says room. it's PP time. I I'm on a nap. I, I was taking a nap. You should get to bed <laughs> and maybe do some dreaming. Got you. Hmm. <laughs> I'm gonna go, I, yeah, on the way to my bedroom, I'm gonna check in on Scrap, just make sure he's okay. Is it fair to say- a bedroom in my apartment. Is it fair to say that when you said I need to get to bed, you just did like a little stomp on your way there, just like a, a self defiant I need to get to bed! Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. I just imagine- I've had a long day, I need a nap. Okay, you go to bed. Scrap is there, sleeping peacefully. I haven't seen him in a little while. He looks a little older. Did he? Yeah. Did he end? He looks a little older. Did he end up uh, accepting my offer? What was your offer exactly? I th I may I may have accepted this and just forgotten to tell you. He was gonna. I left him an offer uh, to be uh, my lieutenant of dreams. Oh. Um. Yes, he did accept that. He is also now one of your official warlocks, and you sh if you want to check his ranks you may as well i would like to do that what are, what are his ranks what does that mean his levels like where he stands with the rest oh. of your warlocks that have been slowly happening through the dreaming what is he wait i got some yeah, you've gotten a few i thought no one had figured out the, the okay i thought no one had figured out the puzzles yet um Go. how well how many levels does he have he's currently at 17 levels Um, I need a new time. He's currently the best warlock you have. You have mm -hmm. currently two others, but they are still they they like very recent. Like you just kind of got them. Uh, uh V seven three four. Hello. Can you please make a note that I should go introduce myself properly to the warlocks? All right. At some point. Thank you. Any reason you're not doing that now? I have another meeting. Fancy. <laughs> she goes. <laughs> <laughs> Would you like to bring and anyone else with you for this meeting, or are you just are you doing this one solo mission? Can I bring them in in a little bit? <laughs> Oh, you want to do it? Okay, everybody else, and then that case. Can I have like a five minutes and then I'll bring them in? Got you. Um, in that case, in the meanwhile, you guys probably have about like an, I'd say an hour of time before VRE has asked you to, uh, uh, some simulacrums come up to you and be like, please report to the Dreaming in one hour for a meeting. It's secret. <sighs> Go For someone who grew up as a spy, my simulacrum is really <laughs> bad at being secretive. <laughs> What's the meeting? What is this about? What is it? It's a secret. Can you just tell me? Is it a secret from me? Uh <laughs> These orders are too complicated for me. I'm just a simulacrum. But you have the intelligence of VR, do you not? But the incapability to learn. So VR didn't, doesn't, when did VR make you? How old are you? 
I was told to come and tell you that there's a secret meeting in one God hour in the dreaming. Leave. The fucking me seeks. All right. <laughs> I like being me to the simulacrum, but not actual VR. <laughs> uh, does everyone? <laughs> How does everyone I'm gonna respond? I'm going to go talk to Luck real quick. Got you, got you. Uh, and be like, yeah, yeah, fuck it, I'll be there. Oh okay. my gosh. I'm going to go to Miami, I think, for the hour. Okay, you go to, you, Godfrey, were you also going to Miami? Might as well. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Let's start with them. With, with... Uh, also, I, I, I'm declaring, um, uh, I, I am exiling um, Mr. Nib from Miami. If he enters Miami. Mr. Nib. No, You're Mr. exiling Nib. him. He's not allowed to enter Miami. Yeah, you know how Chief Why Keith exiled Nib? Aiden Ross from Atlanta. I'm doing the same. <laughs> yeah. Wait, what? <laughs> <laughs> okay. That's incredible. Actually, I I approve of that move. Um, all right, yeah. yeah, that's my A's is going to Miami. <laughs> Guys, oh. all right. Let's start with let's start with Feta. Feta, you go to Luck. Go to Luck's domain. Um, she's sitting, hey. pacing. Well, that's one hell of a variable. Yeah. What the fuck, fuck. was that all about? Fuck. It's retaliation. It's what it is. Re retaliation against you for the against all of us. We've all been insubordinate. We've all been complicit in this. We've all been trying. We've all seen the cracks, and this is his giant slab of flex seal over top of it. No cracks. That shit doesn't work as well as Mr. Swift uh, claims it does. Like, you can't just take it and fix a boat that you've sawed in half. It's a metaphor, man. <laughs> I'm saying within the metaphor that that this isn't... Fix-alls very rarely work, right? Usually there's crack there's still cracks in the system somewhere. There's still going to be room to move around. As much as this variable hasn't exactly turned out in our favor. I don't know. I get what you're saying. I get what you're but saying. But it's still It's not I get good. What you're yes, Gottfried? Uh question. We've been insubordinate technically, but that was to, for the betterment of order. You know? And the logic to to follow the I think logic. She's talking like, yeah, like company wide. To follow <laughs> the logic, it's like everybody. The vibes are bad. If you've been follow, if you weren't here for previous sessions, but people have been talking about like, I want to support you guys in taking over everything. I want you guys to overthrow Alistair. Additionally, yeah. there's lots of anti alistair sentiment and anti order sentiment. There's and, a mutiny a brewing. And the idea basically is if what you were doing through insubordination does in fact benefit order, this shouldn't harm your your goals either way. So that's kind of the logic behind it. Naturally, this is subject to criticism and there is latent um assumptions within that that can be criticized but the logic does follow given the assumptions alistair has if that makes sense it's a lot of open-ended language too which means that he he's like you had mentioned he's trying to apply this as a catch-all but because he's left the language so open-ended that means it's open for interpretation well the thing we is advantage of. it's not omniscient and not but it is omnipotent Mm -hmm. These these are legal terms to Alistair, not just fancy things. They have strict definitions. Omnipotent doesn't just mean all-powerful in a general sense. It means infinitely capable to achieve your goal. It will have the capability, but it doesn't know everything. That knowledge right. gap is the crack. You all are racing against this thing can't let it beat you to the punch. He can't hear us right now, can he? It's not omniscient. It's not locked into the contract, same as Al. We've figured some things out. Don't tell me. I Keep won't. A secret. You is Luck in Miami with us? No, Luck is with Feta right now, in her domain. Oh, okay. Yeah. Just keeping you in the loop. 
Um, I'll keep track not of the him moment to talk about. Yeah, as best I can. What's that? Not the moment to talk about it now. Found my mom. Oh. Or the one who raised me. She had mentioned some things. And it makes me feel like my free will maybe wasn't as free as I thought. Which brings a lot of the... A lot of my slot machine into question as far as theoretical uh, thought process. But it also... It also put other things in juxtaposition. Mm. Like how supportive you've been. And I just wanted to thank you. Of course. I appreciate you. Appreciate I you. I hope you know that. But as far as free will is concerned, when you start questioning free will too much, you inevitably arrive at one of two conclusions. There is or there isn't, right? If it's yeah. deterministic, there's nothing you can do. And you can ultimately choose everything you want to. If there's free will, you ultimately choose whatever you want to. I'm gonna write down on a on like a slip of paper mm -hmm. what the what she had said to me. Mm-hmm. Um, that was on the, that was on the tablet. It's something that Alistair already knows. Yeah. Um, but I figured pass that information along to luck. Mm -hmm. See if you can make any sense of that. And if that makes sense with, and just sort of gestures to the casino in general, any of this. I'll run it through. All right. To Miami, we vote, we view. What y'all doing in Miami? <laughs> Are we back to the beach playing volleyball? Yep. Uh, there's now there's now like a, a belly up to the bar kind of thing. There's a pool now where we oh, usually nice. stay. Oh, nice. Yeah. Godfrey is swimming around in his pool float. He's just kind of complaining. <laughs> I'm sitting at the bar with There's, a, not, there's only room for one gimmick character, and that's me. <laughs> no, I... What the fuck does he think he's doing? Encroaching on my gimmick. He's being a little bitch is what he's doing. That's what he's fucking doing. He's Jeez a fucking narc Christ. and a spy, and I don't trust him as far as ah! any as far as Viari could throw him. Not very far. <laughs> so mean, and for what? <laughs> I look, I have a twenty-nine strength. I know Godfrey's strong. I know <laughs> What are you? Twitch guide strength. Don't do you worry about it. You have a, you've got a belt. You got a belt of giant strength. Oh, what is a problem to accessorize? <laughs> <laughs> I guess I'll go fuck myself. Jeez. Wow. Good slam, dude. The slander. The slander. It's only slander if it's not true. I have magic. I can just pick it up and throw it with magic. How's it, what's your strength? I'm not. We're not talking about strength. I could just use telekinesis. Sounds no, like but what's your strength? Sounds like the what's goalpost removed because I believe the topic was strength actually. <laughs> no, is it that is it how far Viari could throw him? Viari can use magic. No parameters for how that throw takes place. Was, wow, uh, goalpost device. screw ah, legs today. I can make oh. the, I can do the, you know, I can do the, the head. The, um, you know, you know, you know, you know. The back. fact that Viari has to reason through this by saying, "No, I wait, wait, wait." Just, just that's enough. I like to think that there's a simulacrum that had followed you guys in. Uh, I was like, wait like, a minute. <laughs> yeah, I was, take the like, simulacrum and I throw it. <laughs> I throw the simulacrum with my hand. This no telekinesis required. Viari, you realize how, how absolutely petty this makes Viari, right? This means you told simulacrum specifically to defend you on orders. No, it doesn't. They only can follow orders. They can't learn or act of their own volition. Uh, Aze and I rip the, rip, the, uh, rip the simulacrum in half with our hands, may I tell you, may I mind to say, you know, just real quick. More simulacrum smiling. There's a simulacrum. 
There's a fetus simulacrum in the background nursing a, a, a margarita and a migraine at the same time. Why are they all? I don't know, they, simu everyone has so many simulacra all of the time. I don't. I just got them. Yeah, me neither. I, I, I'm Confrey. I'm so special. But everybody, did you just mean me? And Feta, Feta. I it's can the just go away. Feta, it's the answer. I, I do. That is the thing. I do. In the past, we've answer. done many things that involve duplicating you and Feta simulacrum. You guys always mm. have them up. This yep. is true. It's just a repository. It's like a warehouse. They're just them. around. They're just around. <laughs> I like how I like how Viari is one of the strongest characters and one of the most hyper specialized. But when it comes to anything other than that, it's like, no, wait, wait, wait. <laughs> Wait, I can do it too! I specialize! <laughs> my kid is one of the most diverse, thank you very much. Sorry, my bad. When your character can't do one thing. What's your strength, Viari? <laughs> What's your strength? Shut up. No, I can't. No, I can't. You know there are spells for that. There are spells for that. I can fix it. Either way. I love this game. <laughs> Viari back in the domain with like, two, like one kilo weights just being like, <laughs> uh, Viari's hair dude, stood on head. Dude. Something just happened. <laughs> I can Something just it. happened. Something just happened. <laughs> yeah, but anyways, we're we're shit talking the pencil pusher or the pen pusher. Mr. Nib, as he's been dubbed. Mr. Nib. Little Al and Mr. Nib. <laughs> Not, right. Little Al, more more like little bitch. Uh. Okay. Is that if that is all? <laughs> if that yeah, is I don't all. think it has. To. Yeah, we are, not we are, sorry. Godfrey and A's are just uh, talking shit about this. Yeah. Uh, I think A's references the fact that it seems that no matter what card Beatrice plays, she loses and manages to screw us all over in the process. And it's You know, like, it really feels like that, like, be beach Beatrice and Alistair. That, like we know they're basically the same person. And Bitch, we, like, Chris and Alice Dick. Alice Dick. My grandsons are disappointments to me. I mean, I like one of them. <laughs> Which one? Oh, well, isn't Z's your grandson? Okay, yeah, never mind. <laughs> I mean, it's it's fair if you think he's a disappointment to you, but he I... kind of is. But it's like you know, I don't really know anything about him or my daughter or anything. Oh no. So. I mean, do you want me to? I can tell you about both of them. I've met her. Honestly, that'd be sick. I know nothing about my family. And you know, that lack of identity is really kind of sad. Yeah, okay. Um, and I can either just, I can just make up shit. But yeah, Aze will just tell you from. Even when I lie. <laughs> no, not make up shit like me, Amelia. I know. Um, but uh, yeah, Aze will just talk to you about like all of the like pre mortal god shit, like pre being, you know, super powerful shit, and just kind of talk about knowing Z's and like his mom and, and all of that from like a thousand years ago or whatever. Interesting shit. Yeah. What, like, what do I learn? Do I learn anything I didn't know, or like what? Um. Roll a performance check, A's. Time to use our new dice system. This is the first roll of the game. <laughs> oh, I can, I can do I this with technology. Oh, you yeah. did, Bob. That my fault. Yeah. Our new yeah, dice system from the Excel there. spreadsheet from half a year ago. <laughs> <laughs> Luck. I don't know how to read Excel. Uh, I lied on every single job application that said I did. Okay. First of all, half a year ago, bit rich. It's maybe like three months ago. Um, that is only a twenty-three. <laughs> February, January, December, November, October. Five months ago. That's not half a year. <laughs> Not half a year. My apologies. <laughs> My apologies. I didn't realize. You know what? You know what, Offie? I forgive you. Thank you. When were we given it, huh? When was it different? <laughs> when were we given it? No, versus... I'm gonna no like being a uh, fucking for real. This fucking spreadsheet is fucking amazing, dude. Because remember, it's every great. session I'd ask like, "Oh, what the fuck do I do?" Now I could be like, "Oh, no, I could see what the fuck I do." I'm so it's glad. Great. Did I know how to fucking read it before we went over it? Absolutely I... not. Not to be the way that I am, but I have, like, I have, hold on, let me see. Not to be um, me, but. Not to be me about it. Uh, what is it, version, how do we find version history? See version history. 
I've been using mine since November 10th at 6.49 p.m. My copy, yeah. that's when I made it, and I edited the color so it wouldn't shine as brightly on my screen, so. Gold stars. Wait, how do you check that? Um, you go into... I made mine today. <laughs> I also uh... made mine today. I it all, does all this hard uh, work control and I don't fucking know what's going on. H. You just, I just type in version history in the, the help bar and it pulls it up. So, Amelia, I missed what you rolled. What did you get? Oh, 23. 23. Uh, I just had to get a good grade in class. <laughs> you get gold stars. Uh, you, get a, you tell a, a really entertaining and regaling tale of some of your adventures with Z's. Um, of the times that he saved you from prison, bailed you out of jail, killed multiple cops, um, embezzled money from the <laughs> government. Yeah! <laughs> Um, Woo! one time, he, my boy! one time he actually, um, caused a lot of disruption in the kingdom, Godfrey, that you were ruling, um, at the time. Oh. You, um, well, it was ruled by, uh, bureaucrats at that point, so that's fine. Yeah. And, um, after you were, after your death, um, he caused a lot of shenanigans, um, po um, as well as some, just like, generally, it's, it, it's just, it, almost contrary to what you know about him. This sounds like a heroic, like, selfless individual. Yeah, and, you know, I mean, to be honest, time, I mean, Is this Z's and I, mm -hmm. yeah, Z's and I both sort of, I don't know, I guess kind of became insulated from the world in living in it so long so really that's crazy i feel like the longer you experience the world the more you become in tune with it i mean in a way yes but i mean like how old i am compared to you it's so unclear <laughs> what's the canon timeline between me and ace's age <laughs> I have no idea. <laughs> canon timeline is really hard because of how long that um a spent in the fey wild Okay, then from our perception of time, how old is A's compared to God? Like, adjusted, how old is A's and Godfrey? Adjusted, adjusted for time differences, closest you could say is that A's is several, is like about 5,000 years older than you. Okay, and how old is Godfrey again? He's like... 12. 12. Like, maybe... <laughs> at least three. <laughs> at least three. He's at least this many. Then, Ace's age has kept, kept jumping through this entire campaign, because originally it was, like, 600, and then it was 1,200, and now it's, like, 5,000 plus. I've been slipping like, in through, and out through the time. I know. <laughs> they are the god of the passage of time. Ace is whatever so age should know. Relevant. I really... The one thing I never know with my characters is where they fit into time. Like, ever. I don't know. They're just the normal amount. My they're character flaw is I don't pass with the re you know regular passage of time. That's my character yeah. flaw. Uh, but um, I never have lost Godfrey, him, so I get you are, that. You are confirmed to be 500 years old as a skeleton. Gotcha. Cool. Mm -hmm. like, um, I don't know. I feel like I've been around like a decent amount of time. I feel like I, the more I see and the more I experience, the more like I become like in tune to like the world and the universe's problems. And like I like that, you know? Oh. I like. I don't know how you become insulated away from it, but again, I haven't been around for, you know, yeah, a no, century, like, like, you know. It sort of, I think, kind of ebbs and flows over time. So you, you get a period where you're in everything and everything feels important and beautiful, and you become invested in each life that you touch, and then you keep witnessing pain and love and it just goes on and on in cycles and you just kind of become numb to it We sort of i mean we still do now we're gods but you know playing with people's lives it just gets boring and you find a way to keep yourself entertained and z's and i had different um arguably complementary ways of doing so and there's not really anyone who could hold either of us in check. So kind of just spiraled, I guess. What happened to his mom? My daughter. What was yeah. her name again? Fuck. I have it written down somewhere. I don't think it was fuck. I wrote it down. No, I'm pretty sure her name was fuck. 
I also had it written down somewhere. I, I, I wrote it down after we got back. Um... Offbeat. Offbeat. What okay. was her name? So his mom, cause... So the family tree goes. Gottfried. Your, Gottfried's daughter. Then Z's, correct? So you're correct. asking about your daughter. Yeah. yeah. Um, I cannot find that notebook right now. That is buried okay. in a pile of notebooks. I have it written down somewhere. I'll find yeah. it eventually. I tell you it though, and it's beautiful. Oh wow! But I will say. Wait, how is? Never mind. Never mind. Sorry. Mm -hmm. Here. But wait, ah, you... Sylvia. Sylvia. Okay. You learn. Um, Sylvia is. You've learned a little bit about Sylvia in your time from Z's. Yeah. Sylvia was very sweet. She was very nice. Um, not in relation to the kingdom, though. Um, she after Godfrey's death. She decided to cast off any and all relation with the royalty, uh, calling it a sham and a farce, uh, saying that monarchy is uh, oppression, basically. Facts. She went and lived out in the fields. Uh, she yeah. met a very nice man who many called and said they were strange, uh, but they had the child, they loved him, and that was Z's. Um... They had him, of course, in the Feywild. Um, around the time that you were born in the Feywild. But due to the Feywild's time scale being the way it is, you were born in the Feywild years, years, and years before any of the events in the mortal plane would take place. Mm hmm. But Sylvia would care for Z's up until her very, very, very old age, visiting the Feywild partially. It was always strange to you how quickly she aged in your approach and understanding. It seemed odd, but now you know it was just the way of things when you were in the Feywild. The mortal world changes faster, but at the same time, you can always go back to where you were, and they will never know you. It's easy to get confused and lost in the Feywild and come out in a completely different era. And you kind of reveled in that. You understood it. You walked through it very am amicably and understandably. But Sylvia, for the time that you knew, you was always kind, always sweet. Um, had a had a hot streak in, against government corruption. Um, That's my girl. <laughs> But times, but that is what you converse and tell Gottfried. Yeah. Well, it's good to know that my kid head was in the right place, you know. Why didn't her mom or her brother help? Um, from what I understood, they she left not on great terms with either of them. She didn't really speak about them much. And she didn't want whatever they offered. Weird. Is at this time, however, though, a Viari comes in and says, "Please arrive to the secret meeting." And we'll cut over to that secret meeting about an hour ago in conversation time. Okay. Oh, yeah. I was gonna say. Mm -hmm. I yeah, got. I, just, I wanted to I didn't fuck forget. the people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I didn't forget. Don't you okay. worry. Secret meeting. You go to your sleeping chamber, but really you just descend into the mm -hmm. dreaming. The magical fireflies lead you down. The mist warms. The paper, uh, the world folds before you. And you go to your secret meeting chamber where you must think in pictures. And you see in there are two people who you asked to be here. Two similar. Well, I, well, uh, could I, can I say how I would set it up? Uh, Sure. I would not let them see each other first. Yes. There is a veil okay. between them, a darkness that only you can see through. And you see before them, there's a simulacrum busy t uh, coaching them through how to think in pictures so they don't get scrambled while they're in here. Okay. I'm going to go up to the first one. 
I'm going to make that one Alex. You go up to Alex. Oh, oh. Hey. Hey. I'm really sorry about the pictures thing. It's very hard, but I, I can get to the hang of it. You're so smart. Um, I, yeah, I had to figure this out when I was a kid so that, uh, I can I get this one and, okay, yeah, okay, I, I wasn't, just, I don't want him to find out. Um, so I need your help, but before I talk to you about that, I need you to consider, I want to bring in some outside help as well on this. Viari, you are at, <sighs> she takes your hand in hers, you are at your most infuriating when you're hiding something. What is happening? I'm not trying to, okay, all right, there's somebody who I need you to be civil with. She and I'm like going to pull confused. back the veil mm. and reveal Gary on the other side. Gary says, hello, Viari. What is this charade? What you... You... Hold on, you. Hold on. Oh. Oh, goodness. Okay. Alex immediately okay. just, just walks past you slaps her brother across the face okay. and goes, you motherfucker! And he goes, please unhand okay. me right now, sister. We can talk through the civilly. You cost me my job. My... Fuck this room! I can't cuss him out! Fuck you! Okay, all right, uh, that's going about as well as I expected. I'm just gonna sort of step between them. I know that tensions are really high right now and that everybody has a lot of very heightened emotions and they are valid emotions. And I don't want to take away from that because the situation sucks. I am but perfectly calm. It is she who is flipping shit. You stop speaking, please. Why? She had, she slapped me and then- Don't be antagonistic. Me. Why not? She antagonized me. You really want me to answer that question? <laughs> he understands and like relates. <laughs> okay. Alex, you have a lot of reason to be really upset right now. And I know that this is probably the first time that you have seen each other in a long time. But there's something that I need to do and I need both of your help to do it. And I would really appreciate if you would hear me out. Alex casts a spell on herself. Okay. Fuck, that's better. Okay. What was the spell? Uh, you recognize it as mind shield. Enhanced ability or something? As a oh, okay. Mind blank. Okay. Oh. What do you need? I am really sorry about the circumstances of that. Um, okay. Well, you are the best god hunter to have ever existed, and you managed to kill the god of truth in his own domain after being a spy for 500 years. So I figure that you two are the best people to help me kill my dad. I'm sorry, Gary, did she just say she wants us to help her kill her dad? I think... I think she did. I think she did just ask us to kill her dad. Viari, are you okay? Are you... I'm are you... perfectly okay, thank you very much. Are you sure? Yes. Alex I'm just out of my depth. Alex leans in and goes, <laughs> Are you 100% sure you're okay? This is... Yes. Drastic. Yeah, no, okay, I'm fine. I'm, I'm, I'm fine, okay? But we're going to have to do it at some point, and I know that no one else is going to be better at making this plan than you guys. They, they all look... Here's at, the thing. They all look at each other. At some point, what are you planning? Listen. You both know bits and pieces of this. Eventually, the universe, if my dad wins the war, 
is going to be reset. Everything is going to be shuffled back into its natural order and I'm going to summon the Book of Lies. This isn't the first time it's happened and I'm gonna hand it to them and I'm gonna like show the lies, the, the writing from previous versions. They peruse them and see like, what versus like curiosity to, oh, to a deeper and deeper understanding of things. And if we can figure out a way to rewrite the universe, then I can get my dad back. But before that happens, we have to kill him. And I can think of no better people to help with that plan. Gary and Alex look at each other. They look at you. Look back at each other. All right. We can work something out. Alex leans Thank in you. and goes, Don't know what to help you I can offer at this point as a washed up god hunter, but I'll do my best. Alex, we're going to take my shoulders. You are the best god hunter who ever lived. This ass hat might have done some kind of. Trixy little subterfuge or whatever, but he, what he did is not the same as what you did. And what you did is not the same as what he did, which is why I need both of you. Because no one else, no other model in the history of models has ever been able to build up the amount of power to 1v1 very powerful gods, let's face it. We'll help on the plan. I need both. Gary leans in and goes, Well, we need a few things if we want this plan to work. We need research. Lots of it. I didn't kill Truth in okay. his own domain, sitting here, just one day decide today's the day. We need to learn about Alistair. We need to learn about his forms. What his abilities are, his spells are, his capabilities, what he's going to throw at us. We need to learn... Frankly, what's exact? What are the exact conditions of this m attack that we're planning? Killing Truth in his own domain was actually easier than many people think. His domain was always the same, always the same conditions. If you built up your trust with him and had the ability to lie via some dubious contract work, you could get in, and you could kill him. Massive hole in his armor. Well, for one thing, it won't exactly be my dad who we're fighting. It will be Order. Order themselves. Are you sure? Well, basically, my understanding is that in order for everything to get reshuffled back together, the divine contract needs to be torn up and destroyed. And when that happens, all contracts break which will make my dad's rewrites of himself make him revert back to at a minimum his original state but i wonder if that involves being order again because that's who he was in the beginning but even if it's not that it's going to be the early versions of him right it will a1 well what do you need us to do viari um, Alex steps in and goes, Do you need us to... You are more than capable of dealing the damage, if that's what you're wondering, but... I need help making the plan. No one has more experience than you two. And... And this is about the time that I would hope my friends would show up. Okay. They do. You timed this perfectly. <laughs> uh, all three of your friends arrive God, into good. the room. Um, as this happens, Great. I need all of you to make intelligent saving throws. You all have my bonuses. Yep. <laughs> Can Ace have advantage because this has already happened one oh, time? Oh, yes. I, Ace, you get advantage because you are, you are bracing yourself for the room. <laughs> Jesus. Okay. And... Where's my intelligence saving throw? Five. In the industry, we call that a 19. Okay. 
Um, 27. 27, okay. Bro, hang on, I need to take a screenshot. You are not gonna fucking believe what that number is. 50, 60, 62. 69. 69. Yeah, it is. 69, let's go! <laughs> yeah, it is. In the 69th Fucking episode. 69, baby. 69. I'll post, that in, I'll post that in the game chat. I cannot believe that's incredible, honestly. <laughs> that is actually insane. That's like a 20 in like so... most sixes. <laughs> yeah. That's crazy. Eh. Eh. Man, that even beats the the other time I got fifty nine. Mm -hmm. Sixty. And I thought you is wouldn't believe it. Is that technically the highest roll? That's that we've the gotten? highest we've had in stack. Yeah, yeah, it is the highest roll. Since transferring to stack system, that is the highest. We got a sixty nine on episode sixty nine. We baby. did it. Yeah. Hell yeah. <laughs> and uh, everybody except for Godfrey, as you enter, you're able to you feel the forcible imprint of this rule being imposed upon you. Stink in pictures. And at first, you're like, you try to think, and there's just nothing. It's like, you cannot get a thought. But then you realize you can think in pictures, and you manage to maneuver your thoughts in this way. Godfrey, you are having a stroke. <laughs> and there is no <laughs> other explanation for this. <laughs> nothing is working. You cannot move. You cannot think. You cannot speak. You are, st you are stunlocked <laughs> for a brief period of time. Okay, am I able to help people with it? Am I able to like give people like a little boost or something? If you cast a spell slot on them, you can remove the effect. Okay, I'll do that. I'll just, oh god, bro, I'll be like, sorry, and just grab mm -hmm. my better at this, But I rolled a two and then like four ones. <laughs> Gottfried, you feel your brain slowly slot back into place. I take it out and just like rub it a little. You know that scene in SpongeBob where Rubik's cubes his brain? Yeah. yeah. Me for real. Dude. Scramble. Guys. Hi. Perfect timing. Holy uh, this shite. is. Fucking what? Hi. Oh, it's Gerald. Yes. Uh, okay. My dad can't monitor us here. And right. little Al isn't invited. And you should be in on this meeting. I just had to sort out the it's sibling rivalry before I invited you. Um, cool. So you guys have been here for a little bit. And everybody's uh, still alive. Uh, barely. Okay. Uh, I am imposing a, like, a two-meter, like, restraining order on them. And a... Every time this one, and I point to Gary, says something antagonistic, it just gets duct tape over his mouth. <laughs> okay, well, and it, it, duct tape immediately <laughs> appears. <I'm there. laughs> it's a pleasure to meet all of you. <laughs> Alex jumps in and goes, Meet? Fuck off! <laughs> what do you mean, meet? Alex jumps We've in met, and goes, Little Al, what is this? What is this new concoction? Oh, bitch. He's now gonna mini me. Mr. He's gonna Nick. follow us around on our next mission. It's a fucking it narc. Yeah, it's a lot. Like oh, an aspect of Alistair. An aspect of Alistair, all of the power, none of the knowledge. Or most, none of the knowledge. And we're going up against Beatrice, four aspects, all of the knowledge, none of the power. Super fun. A gambit. Beatrice is yeah. out of moves. Alist Clearly. Alistair has all the moves he can make. He always does. He's mentioned as much. Beatrice knows this. But they should be looped in. Hmm? You want These guys lo looped should in? Be looped in? What do you mean by looped they in? They didn't actually know why I brought you here. Guys, we're going to kill my dad. Um. That's why they're here. Oh. Oh, I've been planning. <laughs> Good. Great. Now we have the two best god hunters to ever exist at our disposal. Getting Thank along like family. That. Yeah, just as good as family. Look, <laughs> if you want to kill a god, the important things to know are the conditions of when you'll kill them. 
what what reality warping ability they can impose upon you by sheer merit of their existence. You should naturally have resistance because you're gods, but wait, how are you going to fight him if your power comes from the contract? Well, Oh, it weren't by that yeah. point. Yeah, We've been working. We have, we've got a... Yes. a Do you know the name of Eternagrax, you mean... Alex looks at Gary, and Gary looks, like, stunned. And he looks but and Gary speaks up. You say that like it's real. Is that a real thing? Yes. As far as we know. It's like mentioning to a hunter that a unicorn exists on a mundane planet. I'm glad you specified that, actually. Because wow. I've seen a few. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's insane. That's that's nonsense. Power. Pow the god of power. Yeah. Seal. Yes. In the stars. Yeah. In Alex Pipe Alex thinks. A million miles away. Oh. <laughs> Message to the main. God damn it. That would be clever. If we effectively so, that, part that, of that. why I wanted to bring you guys on and understanding what's happening, it, you said we need research. Well, when Aiden and I broke into Alistair's archives, we discovered that the mushroom network mirrors the stars. Huh, that is Which feels like a mapping device. Interesting symmetry. Oh, was that you? Mm -hmm. No, I was waving because what? I'm. I'm Fate the is mushrooms. The mushroom network. <laughs> oh, <laughs> no, I was the one. No, I figured. Alex. Yeah, yeah, I thought it was a. Yeah. Alex reaches out to you, Fate, and goes, "May I quickly cast a spell on you?" Depends on what spell. Memories. Do you hate me, by the way. Um, why would I hate you? Did I do something to? You? Did you do something to me? No, we're good. Okay. It, it's just sort of my default assumption at this point that everybody hates me until proven otherwise. No, he's just traumatized. Healthy. I'm in therapy about it. Okay. You are a god. <laughs> that makes sense. Um, <laughs> Alex reaches up uh, <laughs> and casts Modify Memory, but specifically with Encode Thoughts as well, to pull out okay. a memory from your head and just make a copy of it. Ah, got you. And she pulls it out, and you see that... You like almost within it are nodes nodes of little mushrooms and as you move it the node stays in place and that's Mikey huh. he can't infect my domain this way can he no she puts it okay, back good. In his... I'm, I'm watching him she puts <laughs> it back in his head interesting not... I... well Mikey is explicitly quarantined by the way, in the nothing. So, couldn't if he wanted to. I know, I just, he's suspicious. By the way, that's another thing that happened. Uh, I've acquired the domain of of the void of nothingness. And is now the god of possibilities. Look at that. There you go. Fader got a promotion. Yeah, that was, that was less uh, me, like, humble bragging and more like, hey, maybe this is useful. Oh, that, but also, yeah. see, yeah. we can be competent. We could kill a god. We could come We've always god. been competent. We are, just that was never in question. <laughs> yeah, I know, but these three seem doubtful about the killing my dad thing. Uh, to be fair, I haven't exactly had well, a look, past, but that's fine. Look, I'm doubtful about you killing your dad because it seems out of character for you, and it's, it's not about lack of ability, it's... Lack of follow-through? Concern. Or VR, the idea is not necessarily to permanently kill him. Not, really. not saying that you have general, you have an established precedent of lack of follow through. I just think the idea of killing your dad and actually killing your dad are going to be very different experiences. Yeah. Well, I could do it, and it doesn't matter anyway because he's going to come back when I rewrite everything. He's not going to be such a problem. Okay. And if he couldn't come back when you re rewrite everything, would you kill him anyway? Well, he could. So it doesn't matter. But if he matter. couldn't. That's, well, he can. That's not a guarantee, Viari. Is it not? Why well, would it be a guarantee? Because if I mean, I'm the one rewriting reality, 
and that, just... and, you know, do you know how that kind works? Of keeps getting remade time and time again. Do you know kind what of? remaking reality looks like? Do you know what parameters you're allowed to set? Do you know? Fucking butterflies process? seem to have an idea. Well, I know that I can do it. There Wouldn't we... the process just be whatever I need, whatever normal pro? Like, it would be different to what my dad does. Gary I looks... have an idea of what I'm going to do differently. Gary looks to Alex, and Alex is like. She walks forward. Um, Viari, we've done a little bit of research into this. God hunters always love theorizing about the impossible. What happens if we kill Beatrice? What happens if we kill Alistair? The end is not going to be what you expect. I'm not saying it's not a possibility that you can remake Alistair. But you shouldn't bank on that being the conditions of you killing him. Last thing that we'd need is... You, at the time of remaking the universe, faced with the fact that you can't remake him. But still have a whole universe to make ahead of you. What would you do then? I'll just make it. She'd lean on us if she needed to. And if you're not there at the end, we don't know what that looks like. We can't guarantee that anything is even there. We can't <coughs> guarantee anything. <coughs> but we can't just sit back and do nothing. I'm not saying that. What I am no, I saying know. is what I am saying is that I think that at least one of you is following through on a plan that they haven't thought through. And if they have thought it through, this wouldn't be the first time they've considered if things went wrong. V? What? What? I said, how are you feeling? Uh, I'm fine. No, you're not. Because I know that I'm face fine. You can't even tell when I'm lying. No, but I can tell when my friend is upset. Of course I'm going to be upset. We're talking about killing my dad. Yeah. Alex leans in. You've got time to process it. We'll help you with this plan. Maybe we can even rally the God Hunters once more under a new banner. If they see us working together, maybe they won't fight. But you all should get back to whatever it was you were doing. At the very least, mm -hmm. do we want to make sure we're all on the same page information-wise? What information? How much do we want to... I feel like we put most of our cards on the table here. Right. Um... I, even though I did not get a promotion about it, uh, have okay. expanded my capabilities and domain more and more into space um, and can create spaces that exist outside of existence, which is very helpful in research. And just so it's on the record, um, because I was responsible for putting you in the hot seat, Viari. Um, I will let you all know that if it comes to rewriting the universe and I have any say in this, I'm only bringing back a new universe if I can bring back Z's. And I will doom us to an eternity of this cycle if that's the only eternity I get with Z's. And you can do with that information what you wish. Mm. 
But you know that's where I stand, and I know that's where I stand. You can expect that. Seems like you need to do some research into the end of the world. The end of eternity. We need to do that anyway, if we want to kill Alistair. There is enough... Well, it's not a guarantee. We have done enough research, and I think we'll lay it all out for them, that there are strong possibilities that this can be executed in the way that Viari had just described. I don't doubt it. A is notwithstanding. <laughs> I don't doubt it. And I see no reason why. But we're dealing with the realm of the gods at their highest. And even before them. If we just assume the rules apply as normal, I'd say that we were would be getting ahead of ourselves. Yeah. I was like, are we about to start uh, on that? Fuck. <laughs> Gary whips out a pistol. All right, enough of this shit. <laughs> Alex leans up, uh, goes, walks up to UVR and goes, I wasn't trying to say not to do it. I just... I don't know. Okay. You'll figure it out. You tend to. We'll see. <laughs> I'm just gonna like I A's. <laughs> it's almost day where I'm at, Gary says. I need to wake up soon. I'll need to be <laughs> leaving now. That's fair, but just before you go, have you figured out the enrichment activities yet? It just seems to be taking a little while. Oh, you mean those stupid ones to become your warlock? Yeah. They're really- hey, they're good, thank you very much. Oh. Just, what do you mean, stupid ones? You asked me. I gave my opinion. I think you're getting soft. I'm gonna whip out a notebook and start writing ideas down. <laughs> With that, the meeting adjourns, and you all leave, and you all wake up. The next day, you have a meeting with Alistair. The beginning of the war, the first briefing. Arc 3. Proper. You all wake up. First thing in the morning, you are summoned, and I teleported to the war room. Sitting in his seat already, before any of you were there, is Little Al. Or Mr. Mr. Nib. Mr. Nib. You see he has turned his cane into a pen. He is now a pen nib holding another pen. He quickly turns to all of you. Are you excited for our mission together? I'm so excited, Mr. Nib. What did you just call me? Mr. Nib. If this is an attempt to downplay my threat to your intentions, interesting. It's literally not downplay. What, what? Excuse it's, me. It's you are coming up very aggressive. It's a nickname. A threat to our intentions. I nicknames assure you, we are a... all on the same team here. Right. Then Question you shall refer to me. Then a... you shall refer to me as Little Al, as that is the name I have called myself. I am not taking kindly to nicknames. Okay. There's no some Question. First of all. Were you inspired by Helldivers? Genuinely, no. I've got another inspiration for this guy. <laughs> okay. Oh, no. It's a scarab. Alistair teleports in. Hello. I see you're all getting acquainted. Very. Mm. Oh, if, 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 theoretically, mm -hmm. if you were able to write something into the divine contract, could you Perchance. Can't you say perchance? Tell some people to lighten the fuck up. 
Why? What's the matter? And just enjoy nicknames because they're fun and whimsical. And just, I don't know. I Did like you give them. little Al a nickname and then he didn't like it? Yes. I it wasn't even the one yeah, to do it. Yeah, this is like... When you got grumpy, I started calling you Al. When your name is Alistar, then you said it was okay. Fucking Eleanor threatened to kill me more. I don't even know how that would work, but kill me more if I called her Ellie again. That's fair. Little Al, the, their nicknames are a sign of affection. There, happy? Yes. Okay. Actually, very much so. <laughs> I prefer to be called Captain Nib. You don't you have know? a boat. Damn, you're <laughs> muted. Shut, shut, shut up, shut up, shut up. I like it. I said you'll earn Captain, all right. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Your mission. Welcome to Fish Hook. This is a dangerous place, ruled by a church. They have turned themselves into the ruling class. They are a theocracy. This means that all of their way of life is dictated by their beliefs. Their belief system is not to any known god, which means it was put in place surreptitiously by their people, by their saviors, by their benefactors or whatnot. Society is technically godless. They don't follow a known religion or otherwise. They seem to worship the stars in the sky. The moon is, seems to play of great importance. They are dictated by the Church of the Senses, di split into five sects. Eyes, the nose, the ears, the touch, and the mouth. Who speak for the Church to Question the Question for off- Yes. Al Alistair knows what information we he knows we stole the information on turn cracks, right? Yes. I just want to make sure I'm not revealing anything when I ask this question. Al, if they worship the stars in the sky, does that mean that Eternagrax has worshippers? No, as Eternagrax is not the stars or the sky. He is somewhere beyond them. Bound with them. It'd be like worshipping a book isn't worshipping me just because it Big book is my contract. Mm. However, tell some people in Christianity about that. We don't talk about them. Jesus is very sad. <laughs> <laughs> if only they knew he was a blue tongued skink. <laughs> <laughs> However, Give him some flies for me the next time you see him. <laughs> it's important to note that. This Church of the Senses have several heroes, one of which was the God of the Hunt, gallivanting as this original hero. For a while, there's been a society of hunting monsters. They were this church brought with them sort of healing, sort of magic to provide and to heal their ailments. Proof of their godship, they would call it. Um, this succinctly led to well, them turning into beasts. Monsters. Initially, we thought this was a Feyan trick, as we had knowledge that they had taken blood from a Fey. But the way this curse has progressed seems very different. Your mission is a big and lofty one. You need to uncover the mysteries of Fishhook. It's blood. The fey spirit of undeath. And that which lays beyond the stars. There's a lot to uncover. There's a lot to go off of. And there's a lot to follow. Little Al will be an asset, should you choose to. But he has his own set of objectives. He's been given the same one, but he will probably not take the same direction, as he thinks differently than all of you. If you happen across him, treat him as an ally. I would suggest not getting in his way, but I don't think that should happen. All right, Mr. Nib, welcome to the team. Most excellent. I Most excellent indeed. I cannot wait to work with you, Godfrey. 
Oh, it's gonna be great. Two Gibbet characters. Don't worry, we don't need to travel together. After all, I have my own objectives, but I will happily meet up whenever we see each other. Great. Do you drink? I can't. I Charlie? have no need. Oh. Yeah, what's up? Can we get a restraining order against him? I don't think so. Why? I I want one, Biari. This is a, that is a mess. Kid, if you get a restraining order on the guy who's supposed to be your ally with, for no fucking reason, that looks mighty suspicious. He's annoying. That's not enough of a reason for a restraining order. <laughs> I think even in our fucked up law system, that's not going to hold up in court. Do you really want to go to court with fucking ballpoint over here? (laughs) Why did that get me? (laughs) Fine. All right. Bye. Charlie wisps away. And with that, um... Any questions about Fishhook in general? I will try my best to answer them. I know I've given you a big task. Yeah, what are its secrets? <laughs> this is why you're silly. This is why you get a gold star. <laughs> you put another <laughs> star beside Aes's name. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> oh, um, yeah, the, the only question that I had was, do we, do we know the Fae that they took the blood from? Yes, you are. You're already aware that it was at one point the face spirit of undeath. Okay. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then right, right, right. she got fucked up. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Real bad. Yeah. Do you have one? Uh, one could leads. describe it as died. Leads. I should probably give you leads. Um, mm-hmm. There are people here. Obviously, not everybody is a beast. Um, they call them the people that still roam the streets. Might call themselves hunters. Um, you should. Make kind with them if possible. They will be capable allies if you can befriend them. Um, Some will be more eccentric than others. Some will be more eccentric than anyone you've ever met. I would suggest making as many friends as possible, as this place will be usually very hostile otherwise. If they are not a hunter, I recommend not conversing with them too much. Civilians are heavy takers of blood and will be most likely borderline insane. Yes. Dress code. Um, lots of leather. Think a um, think a biker shop mixed with a BDSM uh, gear. Yeah, you'll love it, Peta. Sworn, I looked at A's like Did we went to one of those fucking shops back on my the. Yeah, I mean, I've lived in Fishhook. I can I can hook you up. Oh. Shit, really? Right. Yeah, I was there for like a while. I was there for a while back oh, when I was fucking, also let's fucking go. Important ma- mention. Um, Ayers, you were in Fishhook some odd uh, two hundred something years ago, correct? On a mission yeah. with Viari here. Um, important data that I've uncovered since that night. It's reported as the night that the long hunt began. They have not seen day in 200 years. What did you do? I'm sure that's entirely what? unrelated. I would be- That, yeah, that couldn't have been our fault. What did you do? I did what was asked of me by Lady Luna. Ugh. Most interesting. I shall write this down. Okay. Nips, can you please tone it down? Like, what like is you're it? Here, ener- you're here. You're, your your energy, energy. Your intensity. Your intensity. Like the way that you're speaking. Your intensity. Yeah. Coming. Can we bring it to like. I shall do my best. You know what? He's trying. Al, I have lived with you literally my entire life. I have had you, like, actually literally in my head my entire life. It is not this annoying. Fiari, 
Its intent is not to be annoying. It is given infinite capability to achieve its ambitions. Whatever it deems fit to, to be its ambitions, it will achieve. Is this just what happens to Gale when he ascends? Being annoying as fuck? <laughs> I have a feeling this is what happens to Gale when he ascends. I know so much about Baldur Gate. <laughs> Balls and gays, man. Balls and gays. Health beats saved my ass the other night because I thought I had accidentally deleted every single one of my save files and it turns out I didn't. We got him <laughs> back, though. Just being though. a silly goose. <laughs> got him back, baby. Fine. Uh, I would suggest, considering this information, it might be pertinent for a potential first lead to go back to where you went that night. Might provide a good starting block. Other than that, I hope you enjoy your stay in Fishhook. Any further questions? All right. I'll send you back to someplace familiar. A's had an old workshop. A's can show you around from there. I'm sure they will remember most. <sighs> Be careful. This place is lower power, but somehow more dangerous. Things that shouldn't get you will prove to be troublesome without proper care. Their beasts are fast, fragile, and vicious. Good luck. And with that, they snap their fingers. <laughs> And you all feel yourself falling, Mr. Nib full starfishing as they, as you guys fall through the ground. And for a while, nothing. Your gear is transported, your mind is transported. And you land sitting in a workshop. As you look around this workshop, Ace, this place looks familiar, but used and worn. They put shit back in the wrong spot. Oh, not just sit back in the wrong spot. There are body parts all over the shop. Ooh. Like, I'm walking through. Preserved, eerily clean, but noticeably present. Huh. I, I pick one up. <laughs> you pick one up? I pick up an arm. I'm going to inspect an arm, yeah. Uh, make an investigation or an arcana check, your choice. Probably it's got to be arcana, yeah. Mm -hmm. You're wearing gloves, right? Just say yes. I don't care if it's alive. Yari uh... can make it so. <laughs> uh, 32. 32. Uh, what was this, investigation or arcana? Arcana. As you look at the arm, this is ripe with necromancy magic. Mm. Almost, it, it's um. almost dripping off of this thing. It's, it's, it is potent, but it's preserved. Yeah, I'm gonna walk through this shop like I own the place. Because I technically do, even though I've been gone for a few hundred years, it's still mine. As you begin going through, everything that is yours is still here, maybe moved to the side or put in a crate. Um, That's fine, I wasn't using it. Yeah. Uh, but in place of a lot of your old instruments, you see body parts. Many, many body parts. Torsos, legs, arms, sometimes even heads. Um, sewn and stitched and patched and put together. The most macabre this place has ever been. And at the far end of the shop, someone screams out, Hello? Is someone there? Hello? Oh! Visitors! To question your design choices. You hear a crack and a crack and a crack as someone very... Uh, s still shakes their body loose. And they walk, you see them walking forward, proudly tall, in their hand, a long hook, all with but serrated on one side. Oh, 
It is the lady of the house. Ace, my pleasure to meet you. You may call me the recycler, the heretic. All right, recycler. Oh. And the who are these lovely the friends that are with you? These are my compatriots. We're here on business. Business, business. Oh, most excellent. This has been a long hunt. I hope your business has to do with that. I have a sneaking suspicion that it does. Interesting. They walk up to each of you. Um, they put their hook at their side and they extend a leather gloved hand caked in blood. Almost like they don't notice how grimy and gross it looks. I'll sh shake it because I am wearing gloves because I knew where we were heading. This place is gross as hell. <laughs> Insight checked. They actually not notice. This is somebody who, as you insight check them, you do learn a few things. One, they don't notice. Two, they are undead. Three, um, they are old as balls. <laughs> and four, the leather is older. As they grip your hand, um, a He like me for real, for real. You feel very thin fingers within. Uh, but it's gross, but you're wearing gloves, so you're fine. And they reach out to you, Feta. And who might you be? Uh, sorry. Um, call me F. F. Pleasure, F. <laughs> I like letters. <laughs> and you? Pointing their hand to Viari. Viari? Viari. What a lovely name you have. They give your hand a firm shake. And then they turn to Godfrey. And I press to digitate it clean a moment later. Just like... As soon as they notice you do that, he goes, Oh, my apologies. I have not cleaned myself. And they cast prestidigitate on their hands. Oh, that must have been horribly gross. <laughs> my apologies. Uh... They look at you, Godfrey. You're like me, but not. And you're like me, but not. Are you a lich? Mm. I'm just like you. <laughs> you're just like me. <laughs> not quite, no. But I'm dead, yes. Elaborate real quick. Oh, it what happens here. Pledge an oath. An oath now declared heresy. The oath of the hunters. Long night. You fight forever, undying, as long as a hunt is required. I rise every night for the hunt, but this hunt has been going for quite some time. So I've been awake for even longer now. It's no yeah, there was just a mistake in accounting. That's why I'm here, so. <laughs> <laughs> he's not. He's not joking. It's kind of what happened. You're a silly skeleton. And as you guys look, you see that um, little Al is already out and speed walking down the way. He is gone. Do we follow him or do we do our own thing? I don't care to go where he's going. I can't imagine it will be. I can't imagine his methods are going to be compatible with ours, okay. by and large. So, as you guys look... I'm going to send a simulacrum to watch after him and see what he's doing. Mm -hmm. Your simulacrum army will begin to propagate, let's say, as they begin to okay. follow as they spread out. This place would be... I see I've kind of made this my shop for a while. You see, Aze, I'm a big fan of your work. Your uh, tools are magnificent. They've been a staple in Hunter's ways for as long as I've been here. <laughs> I'm glad they're still getting use in my absence. I make sure to use everything. Even those hunters who drop dead <laughs> can't have you dying, I say. You still got work to do. A hunt. 
so they Is there a reason why you have to chop them up first? Study. Assume you just keep the good bits. Well, you can't make yourself better hunters sometimes. You see, this arm was all that was left of one poor fella. I decided to keep it. It was a good arm. Maybe I'll make it into a new hunter sometime. Sometimes I'll take those parts and use them for myself. This is a couple iterations on the body. A real ship of Theseus. <laughs> this is not oh. me saying that you should do this, but my question, what would happen if the beast just, like, took over? Took over what? Vic took everything here. They just ate everyone? Yeah, if everyone became beasts, so they... He, you see, what happens? You see the recycler leans back. Oh. I can't blame you for not knowing. You'd hardly find any sane ones left. So it's already happened. Close. Church keeps a tight lip. It's always the fucking church. Declared me a heretic long ago. Said my ways are despicable, uncouth. But I say there's plenty of good bodies that would go to waste in the ground. They need my undead. But as long as this, this fish hook is my home, I will defend it. And as will anyone who dares die on my watch. So that is where we are. Anyway, I don't think, think I don't think you're here for the tourism. <laughs> How can I help you? Well, put plainly, we're trying to get to the bottom of everything here, and last time there was day. Viari and I were able to go far underneath the city to something the church had kept well protected, and I think going back there would be an excellent place to start. Mm. The catacombs. Yes. A most derelict of places. I can take you to an entrance. I will do my best to serve you. I respect you, Ace. Much has been spared, said of your work. Okay. I guess I'm off on the hunt. <laughs> off we go. Hunting we will go. Hunting we will go. He claps his hands. Rise! And a bunch of the body parts just like <laughs> roll off the wall. And about 20 different undead hunters form into a gang. They will cover us as we find the catacombs. Oh, boy. You look scared. Oh, no, no, it's, it's fine. Are you alright? Ah! I'm not scared so much as I wasn't really expecting a bunch of undead to jump up. Um, what do you have against undead, Viari, huh? <laughs> first, first of all, you're not undead. I don't Excuse you. Oh, whoa! You're alive, aren't you? You're just a skeleton. You're alive. I'm mixed, okay. <laughs> okay. Viari, okay. Viari, stop cooking. Stop cooking. Okay. Food's okay. burnt. Stop I'm cooking. I'm going to summon some simulacrums because I'll feel better if I have my network up. Your network is up. Your network propagates. Okay. The weird questions of what exactly Godfrey is aside. <laughs> I'm like trying to keep my spear as close to my chest as possible. Not necessarily out of fear of any of the like of them touching it and getting it gross, but more because it's currently got radiant damage on it, and I don't want them to die. <laughs> the network also knows that their first priority is like casing everything, points of interest, people yeah. of interest. Uh, they're getting a map. The they're getting a map stuff. set up as we speak. Yeah. Well, 
Let's be off. And right. shambling together, you make out as hunters. Actually, wait! You oh, all shit. need to look the part. You stand out. Bam! Bro, I got my costume change ready. I've been ready <laughs> for this. If I just like tell people now. that this is appropriate attire. No! <laughs> <laughs> VR, you have to change clothes at some point. You can't keep going around <laughs> no. in Crocs and pajamas. <laughs> They're comfy and they match. It, it looks very it looks cute. It's not cool. on brand here. Mr. Recycler, these clothes that could they be. be providing us, they didn't, I, I assume they were recycled from other hunters. They wouldn't by chance happen to be clean, would they? We can press to digitate them clean. The recycler, the clean, recycler is know. is busy get is coming to terms with the fact that he is a. F no one really talks to him as being a heretic, and he's beginning to realize that he is a filthy, filthy little man. <laughs> I so God freed out. Can I order some clothes from Adamus? <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm just gonna, like, kind of look around for, I had clothes here, presumably, when I lived here. I assume they're just crated up in a box somewhere. You find your old clothes, yeah. and boy howdy, it still fits. And with the yeah. costume change and stow, that is where we'll end today's session. Thank you all so much for watching <laughs> episode 69. We are in arc three! Fishhawk! Fish I'm so fucking excited! I've been working on this for months! Holy shit! Oh. I'm pumped. The vibes are good. Oh, I'm so excited. I mean, I'm the vibes are bad, but in a good way. <laughs> My name is Offbeat Outlaw. I have been the Dungeon Master this evening. I am the Dungeon Master all the time. If you enjoyed this show and you want to show your support, please feel free to subscribe and share it with your friends. That's the best way to show support. There's a whole playlist you can share of the show, as well as if you want to really show support, please feel free to join the Patreon. It is only $3 a month, and I promise I won't cancel your favorite show for no reason for a tax write-off because I don't think this counts. Um, Amelia. <laughs> Oh, hi. I forgot that was you queuing me. Um, hi, my name is Amelia Som. You can find me most places at Amelia Som or by going to links.ameliasom.com. I'm here. I'm on Unprepared Casters. I'm on Redacted Projects that are coming up. Uh, Brooklyn! My name is Brooklyn, and that's Patrick. My name is Patrick, and I am that great gentleman everywhere on the internet. I don't know why I am speak Ukrainian accent, but here we are. Um, I am part of the Writer's Room 7th C. Uh, I will be attending PAX East at the end of the month, and there are a couple panels that I'm going to be a part of, including world building and how to break the crunch uh, in your TTRPGs. So if you're going to be attending, come check it out. And Daniel... I'm Daniel. You know me. Bet. And with that, that is the end of today's session.